What's up, everybody? Welcome to season two of the Mo Show. I'm your host, Mo Diggity, and uh, you know, like joining me is uh, you guys as the co-hosts. You see, you know, the the you, the audience, because uh, I don't really have any dedicated co-hosts or anything. We we all just chill and have a good old time. I don't know why you're still up, properties manager for my webcam, but you know, you're gone now. That's good. You know your place. Yeah. You stay there a little bit too long, but I'm glad you got your 15 minutes. Anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, it's uh, it's been a while since I've done the Mo Show, and I didn't mean to stop. It's just that I did, and just fucking deal with it, you guys. Seriously, indeed. Yeah, uh, I uh, didn't mean to stop. It's just it's my first show, so you know, it's just feeling myself out, you know, just trying to get my stuff out there, just trying to figure out like who I am as a person and you know what I'm not as a person <clears throat> I'm not this loud fucking fan so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the fan there hopefully you know you didn't hear the fan or deal with the fan or anything like that but you know it's kind of funny cuz I uh, I was like super super jazzed about this stuff and guess who forgot to do even like the simplest basics of things because I got fucking high and I forgot to wh where is the fucking webcam you over here okay good because I, I forgot to see I, I, I was playing fucking Warzone with my brother my brother man and uh, I, I, I dumb plum forgot that I said nine o'clock and then I was just going to come here. I thought I was going to pull some of my bullshit, right? Like I usually do, you know, like when I try to finagle my way out of something, I'll pull some bullshit. Unfortunately, okay, let's see. You're going to get over here. Boom. God damn it. All right, there we go. You know what? Close enough. So anyway, uh, yeah, I, I just thought I was going to do some bullshit and go, hey, how about we just do this at 9.30? But I had people actually watching, so I can't pull my bullshit. And, and I, I have to be a, a good little mo and get my stuff in there. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad everyone's here. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, Yeah, 100 subs. So, you know, let's go. 100 subs on the Mosad Gaming channel. That makes me happy. You know, I had other stuff I could have swore that was up here, you know, because, you know, when I started this, I was thinking to myself, man, um, I, I blazed through this, huh? Like, I didn't have to do, like, really jack shit, like, the entire time. I, I thought that I, I, I did well. Turns out, well, I actually kind of screwed that up. Oh, yeah, that's the, the W stuff. You know what? I'm just going to not mess with anything anymore. I think everything is good. We got the head there, which is above here somewhere. You know, we'll just say it's, uh, oh man, you are making this really, really hard slobs. You really, really seriously are. Oh, that's not even the thing I was looking at. Oh, well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to stop. So anyway, yeah, man, uh, fucking how you doing and all that stuff gonna go ahead and unmute in the discord here and just chill with everybody old baby what's up fellas how you doing pretty freaking good my guy yes doing pretty good to produce goods uh man it's uh it's been fucking nuts like the last like few days just like a a, a ton of shit has happened, you know, and I want to go ahead and go over everything, you know, Jordan Pearson's really become like a cuck, uh, you know, he cucked hard on uh, the uh, anonymity, anonymous, the nominominous on, you know, being online, you know, he really cucked hard to that, uh, we have some dude, some kid fucking storming the, the fucking stage with the Elden Ring people because Elden Ring made game of the year, fuck yes. And uh, that makes me like absolutely so fucking happy. Uh, and we have some other goofy shit that I want to go over. But uh, enough about that. What is something that is there anything that you uh, 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 you Kim or you uh, fucking 
uh Diablo that y'all want to talk about before I go into the first uh a little news story here? I mean I can... the Go on, buddy. I, I I can talk about it later, but uh, I was just gonna go on a whole rant about the game awards there for a second. Oh fuck yeah! Oh, like rant away, have fun. I, I'll do that when you're on the topic. Oh okay, good deal, good deal. I'm trying to find out which uh which image was it? It was it this one? Oh no, I want that one up. There was a a thingy. No, that's not it. Where what the fuck is the what image was I looking at? Oh, this one. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, because I was also pulling up uh, stuff uh, for that. There was... What was I using back in the day? Fuck. I really should have, like, uh, not just jumped into this, like, just not even look at... I, I could have sworn that I had everything uh, set up, and then all of a sudden I look, and I was like, wait a minute, oh, I'm not doing fucking gaming shit tonight, I'm actually doing a fucking, uh, I'm actually doing a fucking, like, a show, so I completely forgot about that till I'm in the middle of, uh, launching the shit, I think, like, during the second song, so, go me, <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right, let's see, What was it? Does it even fucking matter? Oh, there, all right. There we go. There we go. All right. I gotta do all this down here. Uh, down uh, here. All what in the world? Man, uh, fucking, uh, Slobs has made it like really itself kind of user unfriendly, just a, a skosh. You know, like you, you kind of figured that they would just be cool. And not, you, you know, I I used to. Oh, there we go. Standard OBS. I'm thinking about actually using standard OBS. Yeah, that might actually be like the fucking plan. But I I finally figured it out, and I feel really fucking goofy, uh, for not doing that. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a streaming thing. All right. So we'll go ahead and start with the first one here, and this kind of made me laugh a little bit. Uh, this was. Ooh, this is not really showing up very well. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Oh, that looks much, much better. Because this is, okay, this is something that uh, Kim Jong-un uh, uh, gave to me. And this is, uh, oh shit. Kim Jong-un himself. Kim Jong-un, fuck. Not Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un Jong himself completely delivered this info to us. <sighs> really? I fucking think... Hold on. I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, Alright, here we go. Here we go. Fucking finally. Okay, so... Kim here in the Discord fucking gave me uh, this really interesting little bit. It's called N NVIDIA Powers New Dorito Crunch Sound Cancellation Tech. That's a, that's a fuckload to say uh, in, in one little sentence. I'll go ahead and try to uh, uh, do this out here for you so you guys can read a little bit better. All right, that's good. That's good. I like that. All right, we'll go ahead and read through this little article here. Doritos Branded RTX Voice. Have you ever th wanted to eat a bag of chips while streaming or talking to your friends online? Well, Doritos has you covered. Jesus fucking Christ. You can really tell that the advertising department got their hands on this freaking article. Good Lord. Uh, mm -hmm. PepsiCo has launched the Doritos Crunch Cancellation campaign in Spain and is providing a free software for noise cancellation. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, TBWA Spain has come up with a marketing idea and Glassworks developed the technology. So the software, which utilizes AI, serves as a filter for streamers who want a snack during their streams but don't want their audience to have uh, to listen to the crunching sounds. Some of the most famous Spanish streamers, such as or people I've never fucking heard of, have tested and promoted the software. And uh, the, the, the Doritos Crunch cancellation software isn't openly available on Doritos.es, though instead you must sign up with your personal data to receive the download link in your mailbox. 
blah 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 yada 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 and, and that's that's pretty much uh you know if you want to know why we can never have things like universal health care or or just like you know decency in public settings like this is because we've devoted all of our time to uh figuring out the problem of getting rid of the crunch sound when our fat asses fucking eat on stream because we're just the most disgusting fucking people on the planet. But I guess I have to say thanks uh, to fucking Doritos for doing this. Uh, this is one of the more interesting little, uh, uh, little bits of fucking software because fuck, you know, fixing bugs or vulnerable uh, cyber fucking uh, security uh, uh, problems that we have on the net. Let's just do crunch uh, suppression. Which I, I suppose will work for everyone. It's funny. I'm bagging on it right now. But honestly, if I got a fucking link for it, I would totally download it and just try it out. But uh, that would make, make for an interesting video idea. Yeah, that would. Uh, Kim, what were you going to say? It, it, it mentions, like, developed by some company named Glassworks. But, like, what the fuck did they actually develop? Like, it, it requires a 20 series or newer RTX card. And it's, like distributed by nvidia it's just rtx voice yeah i suppose it's like just some so... aliexpress rebrand shit yeah i i think they just want to do that because eventually they might even like uh try to like charge money for it or something more maybe they won't maybe they just uh they probably get a little bit of uh uh money for clicks here and there for it so yeah i think it's just so that who the fuck is eating it's Paul. Paul, are you fucking actually seriously eating right now while I'm trying to speak? I swear to God, you fucking people, I will smash you. Anyway. Uh, anywho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, beer, 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 beer. That's kind of nuts. How that I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it's, it's actually something that's going to be out there. I'd be very interested in seeing what this is going to, what stuff like this will look like in like a few years on down the line. Maybe we can get some real solid fucking noise cancellation, uh, uh, software and stuff for all of our video editing and shit. When we, whenever we do audio editing and stuff, uh, can, uh, uh can we got your opinion on it? Uh, uh, who's the other one? Kang Diablo, you you bitch ass Diablo. What do you, what do you think about this? You have any, any opinion? I would honestly really say we should probably worry more about security rather than a fucking piece of software that can cancel our voices. I mean, yeah, you, you got a point there. I mean, it is, it, it's a little funny. I, I'm enjoying it for the novelty that it, that uh, that it is. You know, I'm glad that we have things like that. But it's just kind of funny that you know eating on stream and just like snacking on stream and the the crunching and the noise has become such an issue uh on here uh, you know for streaming and all that that we finally have to have made we've we've been forced to make noise canceling uh software for the fucking uh problem so that's that's enjoyable i i, I kind of find that hilarious in sort of a fun way Ugh. It is hotter than a bitch in here. I regret immediately turning off this fucking fan. Okay. Wouldn't be you a know. problem if you got the software. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not... Well, unfortunately, it's not fan-canceling software. You know, it's only, you know, potato chips-canceling software. So, sadly, we can do nothings. Uh, visits. Uh I really like this, uh, the, oh yeah, this, I guess it doesn't show the background, I've got the other thing on there. I have sort of a fun little, uh, animated background from, uh, what was it that I used from Steam, uh, Windows, uh, or no, it's, a uh, Wallpaper Engine. Yeah, Wallpaper Engine for, uh, uh, for, uh, animated backgrounds and shit. It's, it's super, super cool, and I really enjoyed, uh, playing with that for, like, quite a while here. But, uh, let's see. Uh, I want to go ahead, since uh, we already have opinions uh, about it, we'll go ahead and start doing the Gamer uh, Award stuff. So we'll go ahead and just uh, get this out there just so I can uh, see it and enjoy it. Where is this thing again? Do-do-do-do-do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I have to do it like that. It's so weird. I'm uh, I I've got to I've got to unfuck this up cuz I kind of did that. I I kind of did big time. What what in the world am I doing? Hold on one sec, everyone. I'm sorry. Don't mean to clog this up, but apparently I did. Because I'm using the wrong freaking thing. I should be using display capture and this makes this a lot easier. That is of course until I can actually find it. Where the hell are you? Actually, yeah, hell yeah, where the, oh, here it is, fuck. I was about to start panicking. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Panic mode initiated. Panic mode, shit my pants, engage. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, I think I've unfucked everything up. I just want to just put this out there. Elden Ring did win fucking game of the year. That makes me really happy. I really enjoy the shit out of that. Because there was just some fucking... Some people were like super, super salty about it too. And I'll, I'll play some of the... I'll play a couple of videos that I have on the matter here. But as I'm... of right now, uh, we're, we'll focus on the event itself. Uh, Kim, go ahead. I'm just so tired of uh, Souls-like games that I just never even bothered finishing Elden Ring. Uh, I, I really like, I, I, I guess uh, Elden Ring's sort of my very first uh, Souls-like game, so I guess I've got a really big attachment to it. I've enjoyed playing it so far. I do really want to play Bloodborne, but uh, I've had, I haven't played uh, any of the, dark, the one Dark Souls game that I've had. I've installed it twice and never got around to actually playing it. So that's that's going to have to be something that I'm going to have to uh, uh, get in there and fucking take care of because I really do actually want to play just to see what the big fucking deal is. All right. So this uh, chick named Lil Lilith Loveleth, love it, ended up getting an interview with that fucking kid who uh, crashed the uh, crashed the stage with the uh, the Elden Ring crew after they got the fucking uh, after they got the award for like game of the year? Have any of you guys seen the uh, uh, seen the video about it? Like you guys must have like a million times by now, right? Nope. Oh, nope, really? I have I've I've heard about it, but I haven't seen the video. Well, okay. We'll go ahead and fucking. Uh, we'll go ahead and fucking uh, find that video real quick. Although I will say, the cool thing is, the kid that crashed the the uh, Elden Ring crew and whatnot mm -hmm. is the same kid that was calling out all the po like the police brutality in Hong Kong. What? No, I I don't think that that's this kid. Yeah, that's the kid. No, that that other kid was like Asian man. This is like some friggin european dude or maybe even like south american kid i i, I don't think that dude, that's the same one dude that is the same kid no I'm, I, I'm 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 oh no i i i don't know if that is the same kid though here let me um i mean you can find it if you can i don't think it's the same kid though that actually uh uh did that because they that was uh that that was a uh fucking uh, Activision Blizzard event, and that was a uh, that was some kid I think from Hong Kong or uh, maybe uh, maybe Korea. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's been a little bit since I've actually thought about that. But yeah, while you're looking for that, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, bring the video on here just because I think it's funny just to watch, and it's only like a minute eleven seconds. So uh, if y'all want to go ahead and watch it on stream, I'm gonna go ahead and watch it. Just let me know when you're ready or if you care. Ready. I'm ready when you are. All right, three, two, one. Yeah, so here. So like here, you know, you see the fucking crew just uh, chilling out and fucking, uh, uh, you know, high five and everyone. And you don't see anyone like walking in with them. But I think. Here it is right here. Here's this fucking kid. And he's just on there on the fucking stage with him. Like, no big deal. He fucking...
he uh right he's just he's just standing there just like yeah he's a fucking kid and he just sauntered in from the fucking crowd right he just uh went in there like nobody's fucking business no security like dude this kid has some fucking serious ass moves right he just fucking shows up there fucking blends in with the surroundings nobody stopped him nobody fucking questioned him because everyone thought that he was with them until like he gets on the mic after they get done speaking and it's the funniest shit like the uh, these two right here behind him, the one in the glasses and the one in the white jacket, uh, they start giving each other like weird looks and shit. Everyone's like, who the fuck is this kid? <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and watch the rest of the video. Thank you so much. Uh, from Software, everyone, create the games we want to create and do our best because of you. Um, thank you so much. Fuck God of War. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, Matan. Here, I put it in you the uh, chat. Want to That's the kid's account on Twitter. That oh, okay. I think I want to nominate this award to uh, my reformed Orthodox rabbi, Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Everyone fucking stops and like, yeah, see, fucking no one has any idea what the fuck they're doing on the show. All right. Right? Well, yeah, and there's fucking what's his dust, that little corporate fucking swine bag. Oh, uh, fucking, uh, what was it? Jeff something or a uh, Jeff something Jeff or other? Jeff Oh, that, that fucking mouthpiece, that corporate lackey. Uh, uh, but no, anyway, enough about him. Uh, he, you know, he's, the, you know, his past as the Doritos King, right? That's one really? of the yeah, that's one of the funniest fucking memes uh, on there. Like, I, I I suggest you Google it one day if you want a good laugh. But uh, okay, so we got the Twitter uh, link right here. So yeah, 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 because I'm I'm following him on here, but like, is there anything that let's say or anyone know that that's the same freaking kid? Uh, I'd say the post and whatnot. Oh, which which post? That's basically that's basically the same kid that called out all the police brutality going on in Hong Kong. Yeah, he's got a history of doing that. It looks like BlizzCon. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, uh... he was in the crowd at a basketball game. Oh wait, uh, I think I'm fucking talking about the the wrong thing. That I'm thinking about the. Uh... The, the dude who got fucking banned for like several months at the Hearthstone event. That's what I thought you guys were talking about. Oh, Blitzchunk? Oh, Blitzchunk. That's his fucking name. I thought you guys were talking about him. That's I, I got mixed up on that. That's that's fucking my bad. Okay, so this okay, so this fucking kid's established then? And he still just just sauntered on through like no one like cause he's he's gotta have at least like a small presence, like I don't know if this dude got had 33,000 followers before this event or not. Like do, do does anyone know if uh because I I guess he is he established? Like people know who this dude is? Yeah, I think people know who this kid is. Man, how the fuck have I never heard of this dude? I well I must have seen some of his videos then. Oh, that's that's kind of funny. Like I, I figured that I would be able to. I figured I'd be able to fucking uh, uh, recognize who that was then. But dude, yeah, that that was that, that was just whole, that was just so fucking cool watching the reactions to uh, this kid uh, crash in the stage was a whole lot of fun too. It's just like no one expected it. Mm mm. No, not at all. I guess everyone's sort of a. Uh, like relax themselves a little bit I yeah you know kudos to the security team oh yeah fucking top notch Great fucking job, security guys. team right <laughs> yeah right? you know hey here's this fucking kid he's just storming the fucking stage could be a terrorist could be something yeah. could be <laughs> some 
you know, he could have been fucking, a middle-aged sex pervert. <laughs> yeah, it could have been like just grabbing dicks on the freaking thing, whipping his dick out on like live TV. Uh, yeah, could have just Plus said yay on the fucking stage. Could have started fucking yeah. talking about the Jews like fucking Kanye fucking does on the uh, Alex Jones show. You know, could have just done the, a million things. But you know, this is this is pretty boss. I think this is a fucking boss ass move, though. Dude, I'm telling you though, it, it's funny that you say that because they're one of the articles. If you search for you know game awards kid blah 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 it's like was was he hinting at a deeper anti-semitic clinton conspiracy yeah i fucking saw that (laughs) i I saw that like you guys are real fucking paranoid about the whole fucking anti-semite fucking thing like dude like uh these fucking people were running with it like a morons online were running with that immediately before like the fucking thing could even come out I didn't even uh, hear the what rabbi. What does he mean, reformed Orthodox rabbi? Yeah, yeah. What, the, mean, so we, what did he mean by that? Like, the, this uh, this incident really does prove how fucking stupid people really are. And they just come to conclusions immediately before anything's mm-hmm. fucking come out. But yeah, I didn't even hear the rabbi part. I heard blah, 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 thick accent, Bill Clinton. And I was like, what yeah. the fuck? And I, I was just smoking a bowl and went back to playing fucking Warzone. Uh, that's how I then all of a sudden I see Asmund Gold's fucking uh, reaction uh, all over my fucking feed and I'm seeing what the fuck is going on I was like oh shit that wasn't a scripted event and then I watched it again I was like dude this is fucking great I'll fucking share a couple of memes theory. with you real quick because I love it I, I, I like the memes uh, from this like uh, the woke millennial, the Chad Zoomer. This is not what I was looking at. This is it right here. I thought that was fucking great. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Uh, this is same sex. Oh, uh, this is li- uh, liberals cannot meme. The left cannot meme. Ugh, gross. <laughs> they they ripped off another meme. I hate that shit so much. Oh well. Anyway, not trying to get political here. No. Uh, then we got the the fucking imposter. The Among Us memes. Among Us fucking enjoyed a little bit of uh, uh, time back in the sun again. Oh, this is... I guess this is what y'all are talking about, huh? Oh, maybe I should be clicking on shit. Really? Oh. I should be just randomly out of the blue clicking on stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, he's on fucking... He was on fucking InfoWars? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Again. Good get, kid. All right, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, he's fucking talking to that weird Amish-looking motherfucker that like looks like an Amish Alex Jones, except with a little bit more of his shit together. Amish Jones. I yeah. want to talk to the mask Amish dude Jones. on Infowars. Say what now? I want to talk to the mask dude on Infowars. Oh god, I don't want to talk to the bass dude on Infowars. I'm just gonna lose my fucking mind if I do. Mm 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 mm. Kanye's losing his goddamn mind. It is, I mean, I guess it's kind of funny to watch people just fucking, you know, crumble, like, publicly. Like, you know, you figure that people would just chill, but more like cinnamon, more like smoking a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. (laughs) (laughs) It's the curse of fucking, uh, what is it? Uh, the, not the Clintons, uh, the Kardashians. Well, oh, well, if you're a Kardashian and fucking super rich and super, uh, like, everything, you just lose your fucking mind? Pretty much, no. yeah. Well, well, like, Kanye, Kanye West turned into, like, anytime there's a show with somebody with mental health problems, they're always the zany character that pops up and just is like, shabagazoo, and everyone <laughs>, laughs, and then they go away, and you don't see him for the rest of the episode. But what they're doing for the rest of their day is all the shit that he's doing now. Uh, Running around, yeah. Seeing it on a street corner with the poster board with the chart that they made in their bedroom at 3 a.m. You know, explaining how they figured out where God is. And then they show up in the coffee shop that the main characters are in and it's like, shut up. And then out the door again. They're like, oh, that zany wacko, man. Just like every once in a while has his dick out, just like goes to a crowd place. Ding dong! Ding <laughs> dong! Look at my yeah. ding dong! <laughs> just fucking like losing his fucking shit, you know? He's the guy eating fried chicken out of a plastic hat, you know? Oh, God. Everybody's 
Yeah, he's the guy that shows up in a white zombie video with the sign more human than human. That's fucking him. <laughs> oh yeah. god. I fucking love that like, video. Like when you see when you see a picture of somebody smoking eight cigarettes at the same time, he's that guy. Oh Jesus. Alright, I, I I can see that definitely. Oh yeah. dear lord. Hmm. So alright. So, like, I got a few other articles and stuff that I want to read, but I want to just take it down just a notch, just a little bit, like, watch it, give us a little watch-along video. If you feel like watching, if not, that's cool. Because we finally got some news about Diablo 4. Uh, we got some gameplay, open-world stuff, an idea what the dungeons and bosses and shit would look like, and, of course, we got the release date. Apparently, it's uh, next year. I don't quite remember what the exact date was but i believe that we shall get that in just a moment are they going to finally get progressive and instead of calling them races they're going to be uh cultures well i i, <laughs> I don't don't know yet <laughs> oh god please help us like i i hope it never just gets so crazy like we we start like going okay these are the cultures like dude Dr it's going to be like dungeons and dragons there's no more races oh my god how far how how far the mighty have fallen you know look at you you were once so proud go now and never return you know it's yeah. pretty much what fucking uh D, D is but the fucking weird thing is you don't even have to fucking use the new rules or anything like how how do you expect people to enforce this like they'll just fucking stay at the the addition that they want and not deal yeah. with any of the other bullshit. So it's it's kind of weird that they they want to get real like authoritarian with the rules and stuff on a tabletop game. Like yeah, th this mostly just affects like you know big time streamers and and YouTube yeah. channels. But other than that, well, that's like, the thing. It's I, the moralist gatekeeping. You know, that's the backlash to the nerds not wanting to let the pretty people in. You know. Yeah, we didn't much. want the normies. We didn't want the normies playing our game. Not only did they come in and take over, they changed all the rules. So now, if you don't play by their rules, everyone can call you out on how insensitive you are. Yeah, and that fucking really sucks, man. Because that makes me, that makes me like wake up with a, an intense fucking uh, hate boner uh, for fucking society every time I see a stupid ass fucking story like that. I'm like, dude, you guys don't like, because most of them have admitted, the, the normals have, that they don't even like the fucking game. They just wanted to ruin stuff, because it's, it's like fucking high school all over again. The people that used to, like, fuck with us, or fuck with you, uh, audience, if you're watching, the people who used to fuck with you now got angry and bitter because the nerds and stuff were starting to get the fucking limelight. And they all peaked while they were at their fucking father's fucking used car dealership and they looked at you got angry and then fucking since they have law degrees and fucking business degrees and that they didn't use till then went into all of our favorite hobbies and kind of fucked them up which really fucking pisses me off because like there's nothing really neat there, there's no like racism problem in D and D. Like, there's plenty of, like, playable good guy, chaotic good uh, orcs out there, you know? There's, like, literally, like, probably millions of characters just like that. Like, the, the, the orcish fan base is pretty fucking big, you know? Like, there's, there's a lot of people who like to go the orc route, and not always, like, chaotic evil or chaotic neutral, which is pretty much, like, when you're... A lot of people, when they're chaotic neutral, they're just very unimaginative. They just want to be assholes and not reap any of the consequences of their actions. That's what I think. Yeah, you pretty much hit the nail on the head with that one. Yeah... And it's it's gonna get worse as time goes on, but honestly, I, I I welcome the underground again. It was one of the things that I really appreciated in the uh, in the the nineties and fucking two thousands up until like about two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve, where I guess we all either went to jail, got married, and grew up a little bit, and went on with our lives and kind of forgot that there was an underground we needed to maintain but it's slowly but surely like kind of coming back in style and and i i really enjoy that yep 
<sighs> I want to get myself something to drink. Do any of you guys have something they want to talk about for like the next like 20, 30 seconds? Yeah, I got the uh, game of the year for sport slash racing I want to complain about real quick. Oh shit, I actually want to hear that. Give me just one sec. You know what? It'll just take a second. I'll be right back because I want to talk about that too. That's fun. All right. Yeah, I kind of want to talk about what's going on with the Game Awards. I think the Game Awards in general are just like, um, not good. Why do they have any kind of credibility? Why does really like any fucking award show like have any credibility? Yeah, they're just circle jerks. I mean, that's a fair question, but this one specifically, it's just by like some G4 host and a Kotaku writer. Like, literal nobodies. I mean, I will admit, I loved um, Jeff Keighley when he was doing the uh, documentaries and whatnot. Can't say I've really heard much of him. In fact, I didn't even hear about the Game Awards until last year. I didn't know it was a thing. <laughs> oh, I knew it was a while. Or a thing for a while. I generally ignored those until, like, a, unless something fun happened, or, like, I figure out, like, who's, uh, what's the game of the year? That's the one, only one I'm really ever interested in. I'm usually watching the Game Awards, like, if there's, like, new trailers for, like, games I want to play or whatnot. Yeah, I really enjoy that. I usually just watch them on YouTube, though. Yeah, yeah. just wait for them to pop up. Mm-hmm. But, uh, Kim, what do you want to talk about, man? All right, so I'm going to post a image in TMS text real quick. All, All right. right. So this right here is the, um... One of the uh, advertising pictures for Gran Turismo 7, right? You're right. All right so Gran Turismo 7 won a uh, game of the year for sports and racing. Uh, read the second paragraph here. It says, uh, with the reintroduction of the legendary GT simulation mode, buy, tune, race, and sell your way through a campaign. Do you see a problem here? If any of you played the game. Uh, no, I, it's been a while since I played any of the GT games. Yeah, right, so, it's been a while for me here, too. Alright, so the game came out in March, and you couldn't actually sell your cars until two weeks ago. Damn! And this got Game of the Year. <laughs> no shit, so, like, they really just hosed you down until, like, later on this year when they finally got her into, uh... Uh, got into adding the rest of the fucking game to the game. Yeah. Isn't uh, this isn't this the game that had huge graphic problems while uh, when it launched? Uh, it didn't have graphics problems, but it did have another launch problem actually. Um, what was that? So reviewers, when they got their review copy, there were no microtransactions whatsoever. Then the game launches, gets its day one patch, microtransactions for in-game currency. Oh, God. Uh, Christ. Eventually, people also um, figured out efficient ways to grind, so Polyphony Digital cut the rewards for every race in the game. And this still got Game of the Year. If you go on Metacritic right now, it has like a two-point-something uh, user review score. All right, let's go ahead and do that then, Metacritic. Metacritic, oh, uh, gee, uh, what is his name, uh, name of this again? Uh, Grand Turismo 7. Ooh, I get Gratand. <laughs> Gratand Turismo. Okay, we're going to 2.1, holy shit. Yeah, that's that's really fucked up, man. I, I hate it when, uh, when studios will find, like, a really solid exploit that everyone really loves that's actually making the game a little bit more fun and they just patch it straight the fuck out man like blizzard does that like a ton of times it's like what made like the last couple of expansions really lackluster in my opinion I, I wouldn't even say it's an exploit like the old way of grinding would have still taken you about 10 hours to buy the most expensive cars <clears throat> in the game and now it's just closer to 20 hours ugh yeah now what 
Sorry, go ahead. Oh, go on. No, 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 it's perfectly fine. I was just going to say some bullshit. Uh, I was going to say, now let's compare that score to The Last of Us Part Two score. <laughs> oh, with perfect tens all around, just like fucking God of Snore. You know, like, you know, I, I want to like the new God of War games. I really do. But it's just, I don't want to pay like 60, 70 bucks for a really expensive movie. Like, I, I, I really just want to... I really just want to play the fucking game, and then want to, I, I want to earn my story. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be given to me. I guess that's why I don't like Bioshock Infinite as much as I do the other ones, because though that game, like, while it's fun, it gets super repetitive. You can tell that the devs just said, fuck it. Let's just cookie cutter the enemies, have no real bo boss fights, and have, like, Elizabeth throw you tons of shit when you need it so I, I never ran out of ammo never ran out of money for anything i ever needed during that game and it's just too much just fucking hand holding it's just it's too much hand holding for an experience that i really want to enjoy you know naturally like in a game but i can't do that because they will not allow me to do so it just pisses me off like immensely so what you're really saying is that you don't support strong female characters in modern video games. No, I don't. I fucking hate them so much. Death to all of them. Da, da, da. Lara Croft's so kind of cool. Yeah. So what you're really saying, though, is that you admire a woman with a low-cut blouse and short shorts. Actually, yes. Yes, I do. Well, that's the buddy thing of it, though, isn't it? <laughs> You're playing all these video games with these male fantasies of power and dominance, you know, and you've got to wash your penis and clean your room. Oh, God. I, I really hate Jordan Peterson so much. <laughs> I, I don't want to get to him just yet, but God, I, I just hate him so fucking much. Like, I want to talk about happy things before I talk to about Jordan, because that, that's, uh, that's probably going to be like yeah, maybe the... I don't know what. Because you're a vile, because you're a vile, cowardly troll. <laughs> you're a cowardly troll. <laughs> God damn it! All right, I, I guess we could just go ahead and get into it right now, since we're already ta talking about it. Does before we do though, uh, uh, does anyone have anything else they want to say about the game awards or uh, anything you're jazzed about? Like, what's a? Uh, I guess what's your favorite game you're looking for that's coming out soon? Uh, let's go ahead and go. Uh, Kim, you want to go first? I don't know of any games that are coming out. I only read a summary of this thing. All right, all right. Uh, fucking Kang, uh, what, what's your game that you're looking forward to the most coming out? Um, I am actually really looking forward to the new Dead Island game coming out. Man, I have, been, I have a love-hate relationship with that game. On one hand, like... When I saw it, like, uh, coming out, like, it was my first live stream that I ever watched was uh, the the Dead Island uh, reveal trailer, right? Where they just had some, some dude uh, play the game. And the game looked really, really cool, and, but I watched, like, an hour and a half of it initially. Then I was like, well, this is kind of boring. Like, do they have anything else that's going on, right? And then all of a sudden... Uh, all of a sudden, like, he was just, we, we just started getting the same fucking enemies, same type of zombies again and again and again. It started falling real flat. Then I just, uh, fa I fast forwarded, uh, later on after I was watching it for like a couple hours and it was sort of the same, uh, sorry, I'm burpy. It was sort of the same yeah. freaking thing. And it was, it was just, it wasn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like super, super hype, but really kind of fell flat. And then you have those other two weird side games from the Dead Rising, uh, Dead Rising, uh, uh, Dead, Dead Island fucking series. And they looked like shit. So I thought that they were just, it, the franchise was going to fucking die. And, uh. Then it all of a sudden it just fucking came roaring back, and you know I'm I'm hoping that the new Dead Island Two game is good because that game's about to hit uh, Duke Nukem Forever status. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it needs to hurry up and come out. 
It was the same way when uh, Cyberpunk was coming along. We all thought that game was going to get Duke Nukem status instantly. Kind of did. It kind of did. Yeah. Like, we we kind of look at it now like, well, they did a good job patching everything, but I do feel that the damage had been done, and I don't think it's going to recover it's, uh, recover uh, from it, unless it just comes out with a real bomb-ass... Uh, uh, like expansion DLC or anything like that, and we're apparently having some uh, some news about DLC for it. But from what I've heard earlier, before that DLC uh, news drop was, we were only going to get one, and then they were moving on. So I'm more was, excited yeah. for the uh, Witcher Three RTX update than I am anything Cyberpunk. Yeah, a lot of people are super super hyped for the that uh, Witcher update. Like it actually makes me want to go ahead and get the game because I've never played a Witcher game before. He's only touched himself to videos of the intimate love scenes. I don't know. If I can jerk off to that, like it's just so weird. Like a, it's so weird how like sex scenes and nude scenes in gaming when they're trying to be like, you know, Mass Effect or The Witcher or something. I know that they're going for the mature audience. They're trying to go for like, you know, how in the eighties it was just raunchy fucking sex scenes, and then in the nineties they're like, well, we can't do raunchy anymore. Uh, we we, we got to do artsy fartsy fucking shit with a freaking saxophone in the background of it. I, I can speak from experience, you know, like as a kid, you know, if the God of War 2 um, scenes are the only thing you have to work with, you know, you can use your imagination and, you know, yeah. get by with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, yeah. And I don't even want to go through the, uh, the, the long slog of shit that of, of shit that I regret jacking off to when I was a kid. Oh man, yeah. Well, we <laughs> I don't had even want to think about so it. Much, we had it so much worse. Oh yeah. It was the cusp of, like, like this, everything was out there, but we didn't have a good enough interconnect internet connection to get the good stuff. So you were just stuck with like the, you know, the the extra sketchy. Uh, pictures only websites you know oh yeah and there's all sorts of pop-ups that you couldn't couldn't get rid of because you didn't know how to when you were a kid you learn that shit later yeah it's like you Ugh. just you you just were happy that you knew how to clear the history oh god yeah <clears throat> like my mom my mom and dad did not <laughs> understand the internet at all like i remember like they 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 called each other up after i like you know I remember when I was about 14, 15, to stop telling my mom and dad about shit that I like, because the <laughs> second that they, they, they fucking find out about it, they fucking hate it and they ban it. And so yeah, I have they... to lie, and, and so I willfully lie to their fucking faces and say, oh no, I don't consume that media anymore. I'm a good boy for a reason. And then I'm what like watching it behind their fucking backs. Like? What? What kind of stuff were you telling them you like? Oh, well, my mom loves her some Jesus. Let me tell you. So, you know, when I talk, talk to her about Pantera, Metallica, White Zombie, uh, fucking, you know, like, uh, 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 metal, you know, like Megadeth and stuff, they're like, this is bad, yeah. like, uh, White Zombie. Garbage. Yeah, White Zombie, one of the first big fan pages is it was like, Apparently a clown crucified on a cross like right on the front page. My mom was like, oh, I don't like this at all And so yeah, it was just a it was just a pain in the ass like it's 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 different growing in, Growing up in the freaking set in South Texas Back in the 80s and the 90s. It was just different different shit back then Everything got banned Ugh <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. What about uh? What about that Transformers reactivate boy? Transformers reactivate? Yeah, evidently there's a new Transformers game that's gonna come out and flop. Oh shit! Well, Ari, right, hold on a sec. It's called reactivate. I guess it's set in some kind of po it. It's set in like a a post-apocalyptic some other entity invaded Earth, and I guess humans found and reactivated some autobot and it's supposed to be one to four players i don't have a lot of faith in it but 
All right, well, I got the trailer. I got the trailer up here if you want to watch it. Let's see how bad this fucking thing actually is. All right. Yeah, I don't think it's even a gameplay trailer. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, do you do you want to watch it? You want me to just play it? Yeah, you go for it. Yeah. All right. Okay, playing it now. This ain't working. We should melt oh, it down for ammo. What the fuck? Is this fucking uh? Is this Advanced Warfare? Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? That's a fucking exoskeleton suit that that dude's fucking... Really? So they rip off fucking COD first chance they fucking got? Oh my god. Okay. Splash damage! And we're live. Sequencing at 17%. Loading memory core now. It's all the same. Only the names will change. Yeah, that's how you know it's gonna be a real banger. It's got the fucking soulful R&B cover of a '90s rock song. I'm on here, did it yeah. <laughs> All right. It seems we're wasting away. No. Another pain. Where the faces are so cold. I drive all night just to get back home. All right, let's get lucky. Summer cowboy on a steel horse I ride. I'm wanted, dead or alive. Okay, uh, the, I did not hate that at, uh, at all. I thought it was going to be something like shitty, but oh, uh, so far it looks good. But is it a is it a show or is it like a game? No, it's a game. It's a one to four player multiplayer game. Oh wow! Well, all right, let's. Oh god, the the fucking comments. After seven years of nothing, we finally got a game. We won. This kind of came out of nowhere. Twenty twenty two. Blah blah blah. Transfer just unexpected. Okay, so no one's well. Some people are pretty hype. Okay, all right. So so far, like first impressions, uh, the animation looks fucking really really good. So I I like that. Um, is there sort of a quick fucking game reveal trailer? Well, premiere reveal trailer. Is there any gameplay? Let's see. Is there any game at play? All right. All right. Pl I think this is probably the best that we'll get as far as like info so far on it because it's just now. Uh, yeah, it's out. just like the, the reveal trailer. So anybody that's posting any videos saying that they've got like leaked footage or anything it's probably going to be a compilation of thumbnails yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right Who so this it? oh, oh God, trans I hate fans that shit. 1991 2000 guy <laughs> here so we're, we've got some new screenshots and uh i've got information from my friend who's got a his uncle works at uh hasbro it's like get the fuck out of here fucking uh optimus prime just comes in with a giant metal cock just fucking swinging all around <laughs> starts fucking getting all this fucking nationalist fucking bullhorn like back in the michael day bay films we fight for freedom and liberty and democracy and all the precious kitties and puppies and unicorns and americans out there never forget 9 11 takes a fucking quick uh fucking drink of a monster energy drink or a fucking red bull or some shit <laughs> uh fuck it uh let's see uh all right so this dude apparently has some text in here let's see real quick if this is an actual fucking news bit or not wait which is a one to four player online okay. action game being developed in collaboration with hasbro uh this pc and console co-op game will offer players an opportunity to explore a fresh new story within the transformers universe 
The Game Awards saw the world-exclusive reveal of Transformers Reactivate, offering fans a glimpse of what they can expect with a cinematic trailer. The gravest threat to humanity has one arrived to and already won. Is this kind Earth of like is a, no longer um, ours, it belongs. A Left for Dead or a Payday thing, or is it like a Dead by Daylight? Uh, well, apparently we don't know yet. Apparently, since it just came out like a day or so ago, this is uh what the news that we have so far is just barely what we got. It's just like what we got so far. I don't think any uh gameplay has been revealed. I'm guessing. Then again, I did just fucking say here here about this, so probably uh maybe it might be somewhere out there. Probably the next week or something that we'll hear about it. All right. Okay, playing again now. Thanks to them. All we have left is our hope for the Autobots as we salvage them from the rubble left behind. And so far this trailer has given me huge Terminator salvation vibes, like crazy Terminator salvation oh, vibes. Oh, Jesus so Christ. Like... Dear God, the fucking late... Can we just take a second to talk about how bad the fucking later Terminator movies were? Like, ever since, like, Salvation, which I think was the last really, really good one they had, uh, the one with, uh, fucking Christian Bale. I think he was in the middle of, like, doing another Batman film, but, yeah, just the, the, the Terminators just look like shit in the later Terminator movies, man. This is, like, a screenshot of that. I just want to bitch about that. Anyway, I'm done. We'll play the video. <laughs> Definitely, like, end of the world. Uh, we're going to be reviving Autobots, and then we are going to be playing as these Autobots, and it will be named characters. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, next, it says Transformers Reactivate will offer players a chance to immerse themselves in the Transformers universe like never before. They will get to play as some of their favorite characters, unique, weighty, and powerful, seamlessly converting between vehicle and bot form as they battle the Legion, the greatest threat the Autobots have ever faced. Richard Jolly, the CEO of Splash Damage, uh, was quoted saying, Growing up with G1 Transformers in the 80s means it will always hold a special place in my heart. It's both an honor and a privilege to work with such a beloved franchise. We know fans have been waiting a long time for a new Transformers game on consoles and PC. Very true, very true. And we're going to give them the experience they deserve. So, beyond the trailer and this information, uh, we also have news that the closed beta will be released sometime in 2023 and players uh, can sign up at playtfr.com for future updates of the game. Um, and also this will be using the Unreal Engine as seen at the end of the trailer with the Unreal Engine logo. Uh, so it will not be coming out anytime soon though. I'd say at the earliest 2024, but I'd say probably 2025 is a... Good guess, as I'm struggling to talk so much right now. Again, I apologize. So I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to go rest. Uh, what do you guys think of the reveal of this Transformers Reactivate trailer? Let me know in the comment section down below. And All right, that's cool. That's cool. For everyone who's watching later on or just like watching the VOD, here's the, uh, the link to the uh, thing if you want to get it. Because I, I think that's worth I think that's worth the sub to the channel. I suppose. Thank you for the content. I totes appreciate it. Yes. All right. It was an Evil Dead game a while back, and I was excited for it until I saw the trailer and saw that it was a Dead by Daylight clone. Because I just loved all the THQ Evil Dead games. Oh yeah, THQ did a really good job with those games. They were a lot of fun to fucking fuck around uh, to play around with. Uh, I don't remember too too much from them, unfortunately, but so far, I gotta say, well, the the trailer itself looks really, really good, uh, obviously, because they have the best graphical uh, engine backing it right now, which is good, and if what this uh, Marlin fan 95, 1995 said, God, what a, what a uniquely internet name, Marlin's fan 1995, because <laughs> that's a ba baseball team for those of you who don't. Anyway, uh, okay, well, I'm, I'm a little hopeful that this won't be a piece of shit. I mean, I hope not anyway. I don't want it to be bad, but, yeah. yeah. Well, I know after the, like, after the War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, like, those were awesome. 
And then the next game that came out was that Revenge of the Fallen tie-in, which wasn't even a uh, – it wasn't done by Platinum Games. It was it was a look-alike, and it was just total shit. And then the one that came out after that uh, was Devastation, which I had fun with. But, again, it was just a, a kind of generic smash em up you know, when when like a big blockbuster game. The issue with Transformers games lately has been that all the licensing gets screwed up. So periodically the games will just disappear from Steam or from the online stores. Like right now, if you try to go buy them, I don't think you can even find them on Steam right now. No, no shit. Uh, the, the ones on the PS2 uh, were a lot of fun that I used to play. Like back when I was living in Houston, uh, there was one with a fucking wrecking ball that they would just like you would hit it and then it would like repel you back and you'd have to go through the uh the the fucking motions again in order to get a hit off of them it was like a ps2 game so i don't know what the name of those was but i used to play the shit out of that one uh me and my buddy goomba uh used to fucking play it a lot Ugh. all right I guess uh, since I'm talking about gaming news and stuff, for those of you who really like uh, Modern Warfare and junk, there's a, a new update so far. We won't watch this full video. We'll just watch the meat and potatoes uh, oh. of it and just get in there. Uh, yeah, what's up? How noticeable is like the product placement in uh, this game? Because I haven't played it yet. Oh, like, I is haven't. Is it just like, really in your face? Oh, actually, it's it's super super low key. Other than the, uh, other than when you once you get into the shop and you see all the, the esports stuff. But I haven't seen a one Doritos bag or one Mountain Dew bottle throughout the entire thing. Because I'd get these articles on my phone for a bit, like, uh, hey, the new uh, Hummer EV is in uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Oh, I guess I guess that's uh, lost on me just because I don't follow electric vehicle stuff like at all so i guess if you're a car fan you'll notice some stuff but uh i have noticed yeah. that they don't really use a whole lot of real names for the guns apparently they they lost the rights to display those guns in the game so they call like all the fucking guns that have the real name like like a toad toad gun or or some deriv derivative of the fucking name itself but if you play the game you know that's an ak-47 you know that's the the bullfrog you know that's the fucking dual fucking berettas and they call it like something else because i guess they couldn't get the uh the licenses for the game or for the uh for the guns and apparently this uh, the game was also delayed for a little time because one of the one of the uh maps it's a race car map, right? And it's uh, one of the European racer uh, race uh, race car uh, federations. And apparently, they didn't like being associated with like gunfire and stuff. And they they raised a big stink out of it, and they had to change uh, they had to change the map from what what we saw in the the open beta when you, if you had the pre order beta uh, code at the time uh to uh something else completely different but the, yeah this uh this game was, was sort of marred with a lot of controversy before you could even really uh launch and it really wasn't any it, it wasn't activision's uh any wrongdoing per se on their part they just caught they just got kind of bitch slap mainly because playstation super super butt mad over the idea that microsoft will end up acquiring them eventually and microsoft to their credit has done everything i think they could uh to like uh you know you know squash any kind of fear that the playstation corporation itself w w was having sony was having uh with the uh the problems that they had with the fucking deal because they thought that cod wasn't going to be uh brought to any platforms at all and they offered them a uh, 10 year deal because apparently all these major games like call of duty and stuff like that they they have deals and with consoles i didn't exactly know that i just figured that that was just something that the 
the game developer decided to do. But then again, I'm not an expert on the shit, so whatever. With this uh, 10 year deal, I think uh, Activision actually kind of shot themselves in the foot, promising to be on Nintendo for 10 years. Well, they, uh, apparently Microsoft really wants to bring the game to uh, to the Switch because they like, they know there's a lot of Nintendo kitties on there that would th love to play COD. A lot of people on the Switch, but it'd either have to be a completely different game or a super stripped down version of the game. Because this is like, the Switch was made in 2017 and it was absolutely... Did reconnect, attempting to reconnect. And I'll refresh again. Yeah, my internet's been acting funny since I started. Okay, I think we're good now. Chugga chugga okay, chugga. I think we're good now. Chugga chugga chugga. Okay, okay, good, good, good. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, apparently the the ten year deal is like a a bigger deal than they normally get. But uh, yeah, they they were talking about uh, having a more stripped down graphic version of the game just to port to the switch specifically and everyone's taking bets on how ass it's going to look like once it finally gets the port when if, the, when the switch gets the port if the witcher <clears throat> 3 port is anything to go by it's going to look worse than a ps2 game and not even run at 30. no fucking way really that bad yeah damn I mean, you figure that devs just had the, the technology and the capability to make games for all three consoles without much of an issue. I oh, know sometimes just that. that far behind. Yeah, well, and they're they're having to compile for different architectures, which means they've got to, you know, unless there's architecture agnostic, you know, backends that they're using as far as for graphics engines and stuff like that. The libraries that they use are going to be totally different. The libraries that they use. Like with the newer PlayStation and newer Xbox, since they're all just running on, you know, pretty standard x86 stuff, the cross compatibility and the, the porting between them is going to be easier. But I think the Switch is on some kind of weird arm. Ugh. Yeah, hopefully, uh, I'm I'm really interested in seeing what the next uh, what the next gen Nintendo console is going to look like. But with the, them the just next... printing, with them printing money with the Switch, it's probably going to be a little while longer till we even hear anything about a next gen uh, Nintendo console. At least I haven't heard anything yet. Have y'all? Uh, no, but uh, knowing Nintendo, I bet their next controller is going to be like a bop it. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. yeah, they always follow up a big success with some kind of like heartbreaking failure. Oh man, ain't that the fucking truth? I I, I really I really hate seeing that because I really love the Wii U. It had tons of like really cool shit going for it. It's just that the Wii U has always got gotten shit on by all the fucking console uh, uh, communities. Well, the, we, Wii U had a Wii ton Wii? of cool shit, and it was still slower than a 360. Yeah, the Wii U kind of did what crypto prices did this last year. You know, it, it was like really cool for a second, and then just there was no third party development. So it just kind of went away. Uh, hopefully, Nintendo like gets its head off its butt and fucking uh, learns its lesson from all this. But they, they never do. And it's, it's, it's kind of sad because I really want Nintendo to succeed on everything on every front right because i think they're my my they're probably my favorite console gener generation right now i mean as far as i'm concerned in my personal opinion i i think the switch fucking won this console war because there's there's literally no reason to get a uh an xbox or a fucking ps5 man like every game with the exception of like god of war 2 and maybe a few other games like it's all multi-plat, so there's just no reason to get a console anymore. I'll just up, you know, keep upgrading my fucking computer parts, and just go from there. And it, it, it kind of sucks because I really want one of those, but I have absolutely no motivation or reason to even buy one of them. I think for the subscription game libraries, just on their own, the PlayStation, Xbox might be worth getting. 
Well, that's the thing. Since I'm on PC, I can still sign up for the Xbox Live Game Pass, and I just get the PC version of the Game Pass, and the Game Pass is super, super solid. Like you can I can do that, but even like Game Pass, like Xbox still has more games on its Game Pass than the PC version does. Oh, I I believe that because they they're they're wanting to get you to get an Xbox so you can get the you can enjoy the full uh, breadth breadth of the uh, I never use this word so pardon me uh, they, you you get to have the full fucking shebang when it comes to like their Game Pass and I understand that and I I don't mind that at all I think that's a really good idea uh, but it, it's it's also because like. I guess maybe I, I gravitate more to the old school classic games than I do a lot of the new games, you know? And I try to be open-minded as best as possible with this stuff, but in the end, I, I Crash Bandicoot always uh, wins me over more than The Last of Us 2 would. But, yeah. Okie dokie. All right, so we have a few more, I guess a couple more articles and stuff, and we'll get to the silly-ass uh, uh, booby prize of the Jordan Pearson debacle here. Uh, I want to go ahead and take a quick five-minute break so I can run to the restroom. Okay. 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 <laughs> Good. All right. You remember when? Uh, uh, you remember when Nick got into a wreck because he was drunk driving? Uh, oh, the one the many times. <laughs> yeah, he called Claire's house, and we we had him on speakerphone. <laughs> He's like, "Hey guys, I got into a wreck. I boat my nose." Oh God, yeah. Fucking uh, our no old friend, enough. yeah, our our friend Jason Pulasic. Like this is a me and Paul story from like way, way, way back in the day. Um, yeah, our, our buddy, uh, fucking got he got drunk, got into a wreck. Fucking uh, called up the place we were at, and our friend Jason Pulasic, fucking uh, picks up the phone. <laughs> And he just starts fucking taking the piss out of the situation, and he's like, "I broke my nose," and he's just like fucking like make it. We're all like laughing at his face, like don't laugh. <laughs> no, he's like, "Sorry, it was funny, and you left like a dick." So you know, like now it's even funnier. Uh, oh God, Palacious. Uh, if you ever have the opportunity to grow up in a small town. I just don't live in live in a somewhat bigger city, just like you know, like a like a Lake Jackson or like a I don't know, just something some a little bit bigger than just like you know, a small town everyday America. Because those people are fucking retards, man. Retarded, man. They're just fucking just out of their mind. It's fun. I enjoy so most of the memories I have. Just Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. A little bit of gaming news before we get to the next to last little bits and stuff. Where the fuck is my shite? What the fuck was that? The belch. Oh, okay, okay. That sounded like fucking evil. Uh, for, for a fucking second. All right. So since I do play Modern Warfare and all that shit, I figure we'll go ahead and just watch a little bit of this video get news on the update and all that stuff and enjoy that because i've been really enjoying the the game modes like the multiplayer is pretty good it's got its problems but dmz and warzone is a whole lot of fun and i think this update's going to be targeting a lot of those two modes plus we're getting a new mode so modern warfare 2 it's ancient shit. I remember that being a thing in middle school. Oh yeah, yeah. What is old is new again, unfortunately. And the uh, the new Modern Warfare Two uh, remastered. It just recently came out, and all my friends play it and stuff, and they wanted me to get it. So I bow. I I buckle like a bitch under peer pressure and bought the fucking game. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been watching that. And I've been really enjoying the uh, the stuff so far. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, watch some of this video, at least the relevant parts, because this, oh, well, this is like a 
less than 10 minute video so we could probably we'll probably end up watching the entire thing i thought i was watching that 26 fucking minute video i was like dude fuck that noise all right all right, all right. for all of you who care i'm about to play it okay playing it now in three two uno else going on there Raids are, of course, debuting with this update, and we just talked about these last night breaking down this trailer. So if you haven't caught that video yet, feel free to go and check that one out. We get into the Modern Warfare 2 overview. Obviously, the Adam Grad mission is the Raids. We've got Shipment debuting as well. So Adam Grad is going to be this new experience for Raids. Those who success... I don't know why they're super obsessed with trying to get stuff from Infinite Warfare and, and fucking Vanguard. It's like they're skipping all the other, like, really, really good games, like, because I liked Advanced Warfare. Infinite Warfare had a real fun campaign that I think everyone slept on, and the, the multiplayer really wasn't that good, really wasn't that fun. And you could tell, like, when a COD game is bad, because not a single YouTuber will fucking stream it. And all the clip channels like, hey, top 10 clips of the week, Infinite Warfare, new COD game, or something. You, you don't really see those oh, at all. Watch Mojo. Oh, besides, no. Watch Mojo is like for when you're just... Like, Watch Mojo is like baby's first top 10 tier list uh, video channel, I think. Because <laughs> like it's it served its purpose. I guess I can't shit on uh, Watch Mojo too much. I, I've watched like probably a hundred so fucking videos from them, so I guess they're, like they're good videos to fall asleep to. Yeah, they're really really good because it's like it's super inoffensive, and you, you'll never see them pick a side on everything. It's never political or anything like that. It's just yeah. it's always like to the point. And if you ever just want to watch something to the point, but you know this is not going to challenge you and make you think or anything. Yeah. And that's... ten times Batman almost went too far. <laughs> I'm Batman. It's like that fucking sh that little uh, uh, screenshot. I'm Batman every fucking time. Yeah. Uh, and there's only like ten times that Batman almost went too far, and the there's like two or three times they'll just like stretch it out and just like bullshit up the drama a little bit like that one time he fought a ninja he almost yeah. used the finger of death on him and he almost died Rawr! Riddler's unlucky henchman <laughs> oh god alright Kakadoki Mawafa 2 begin successfully complete the raid will unlock a familiar face which likely is going to be Gaz since he's the only familiar face that we have for an operator Klaus is obviously brand new, and we'll talk more on him here uh, in just a bit. Completing the raid also unlocks a harder difficulty playlist, and you can expect to find plenty of intel that awards additional cosmetic items in addition to intriguing data about MW2's universe. So in order to actually do the raid, you have to get a raid key. So this is super oh. important. You can't actually start the mission until you get a raid key, and you get a raid key by completing a specific daily challenge either in multiplayer or spec ops, by placing within the top 20 in any war zone playlist or by exfilling using the final uh extract helicopter with thirty thousand dollar cash on you in dmz so if you do any oh, of those no you'll get that raid key then once you earn that uh and whatever squad mates you want to bring in you can access it with them too you can get that for a full week so keep that in mind before you jump into the raid you do have to have that accessible also you'll want to go through and level up your spec ops kits prior to the raid dropping so you're nice and prepared since that's what you're dropping into the raid with it's not custom loadouts it is those various different kits uh well, yes the fucking spoiler alert ops? this is going to be a skin for gaz it looks like do we actually have spec ops already in the fucking game spec ops the line dude i remember that fucking game yeah that one was a head fuck Okay, okay, so it's it says that it actually has spec ops on here. Cool. I, I love how, like, video games have normalized uh, the use of military lingo by fucking normies and people who would never be caught dead at a fucking recruiting station. Like, all right, guys, we got to go to the to the exfil site. You know, hurry, hurry. Roger, Alpha well, Tango. That's because the video games are the recruiting station now. Oh, big uh, time, big time. Like, dude, there's no better recruiting fucking tool than the fucking Modern Warfare mil slash military games. Yeah. 
Look who's like an hour late. Who's here? I'm late to shit. I told no, I couldn't even make it, but I guess I mm. s- I'm gonna be slipped in a little bit. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't remember what you told me that you were gonna make it. You and that, literally right after you announced it, I you said Mo show on Saturday, and I said what time on Saturday, and you you said like nine ten, and I said oh I can't do that. <laughs> oh well, obviously yeah, you, you could, could, so you just like lied to yourself. Something. What do you mean? It's fucking. Eleven forty six. <laughs> uh well, it looks all right. You know, I'm just I'm not gonna fuck with you. I'm not gonna fuck. With you. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead, Riley. <laughs> Riley, how are you doing, man? How you doing? I'm all right. Uh, my throat has just decided to be irritated for no reason for like two weeks, and just yesterday and today, it's decided that it's going to affect my voice. So if my voice starts cracking like I'm a fucking middle schooler, that's why. Oh, okay, all right. That makes that does make sense, unfortunately. Damn you, so you've had this for like a little while, huh? Because I remember you were talking about this uh, last week on the MoCast. Yeah, Shut last up. week it was my throat hurt, but I sounded fine. I just had to eat aspirin like Tic Tacs and I was good. This week, my throat doesn't hurt, but now my voice is fucked up. That sucks. Just drink plenty of ice water and just always have like cold shit in the back of your throat as best as possible. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Well, all right. Uh, I'm in the middle of watching this uh, uh, this update video, so uh, if you just want to chill and relax, if you want to chime in, let me know, and I'll pause the video and you can regale us with tales of your uh, your musings. Where's this uh, update video? Oh, uh, I'm watching it on stream right now. Yeah, but like link me and give me a timestamp so we can watch it at the same time. Oh, like, yeah, God, it's just so much fucking work with you. We've always done this on the Mo Show. I know, so we can I, know react I know, I know, I know, time. I know, I know, I'm just fucking with you. All right, hold, hold on a sec, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. All right, getting to, to you right now. And uh, I am currently at the 234 mark. Do, 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 do. Uh, by the way, everyone, I know I, I should probably hawk this a lot more, but if you go to anchor.fm forward slash the MoCast, you can go check out our usually weekly episode it's, of it, the MoCast. You have to remember, it's the, it's the dash Mo dash cast. <laughs> all right, so for simplicity's sake, I'm just shortening that because all the links will be in the description and uh, here in, uh, after this uh, show is done and on the both the other channels when I upload them. They'll also have the links to all of our shit on there. So I encourage you all to check them out. Anyhow, okay, so you said you said two thirty four, right? Yeah, two thirty four. I'm there, so we can three two one it. All right, three two one and play. Like where he's wearing a wolf like hat mask sort of thing here. Uh, but shipment is debuting, of course, and we actually have two different versions of shipment dropping with this update. So standard shipment is going to be there. So We're also though going to see holiday Oh my God, they're going to shoot well. this things, is gonna be a guys. Festive version the game of the of year. That's live from the 20th. The pause, uh, what? <laughs> I said they're, they're, they're going to ship things, guys. It's the game of the year. Uh, well, this is this is one of the good maps that came out of Vanguard, uh, especially like I, I love the holiday updates that uh activision slash blizzard will do because they're always uh, a whole lot of fun and i always really enjoy uh <clears throat> i always really enjoy playing uh, playing the updates but anyway yeah they're they're bringing back this uh shipment map from uh vanguard and i don't know why they're picking vanguard and uh uh infinite warfare to bring a bunch of stuff back from i well i don't know what's so special about them but whatever anyway uh, Real quick, you, you didn't yeah. three, two, one the pause. So where are you? Oh, I I said pause, but anyway, sorry. Uh, two fifty-two. Okay, I'm a little ahead. Hold on. Two fifty-two, and thank you everyone for 101 subscribers. I mean, fuck yeah. Let's go! You hit the hundred subscriber mark. Yeah, 101 actually. And speaking of which, I just found the fucking uh the prop up stand. For my Elgato stream deck, I'll have to go ahead and grab that and start fucking incorporating that again. I miss all my soundboards and shit. All right. I miss being right, able to harass you with Simpsons sound clips. 
Uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, there's gotta be a way to do all the stuff that I was doing on Twitch in the, uh, the chat. I thought uh, you were still going to do the Mo Show on Twitch. I thought we had talked about that. I, you know, I wasn't going to bother you. I was going to text you. I was going to, uh, DM you earlier. What channel should I do this on? The gaming one or the other one? And I figured, well, fuck it. I'll just download this VOD, edit it up, and put it on the 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 quote main channel and the Moso show channel. Since fuck it, I got it so, anyway. No, no, no. We we did talk about it, and the ultimate place you want to put them is Mo Diggity Forty Two because you already have a bunch of subscribers and you're doing nothing with it. So you might as well just oh. put the Moso there. Um and. I was assuming what I thought we had said, and maybe I was just miscommunicated, was that you were going to stream it on Twitch. Yeah, and then I, edit I the vod and put it on Mo Diggity Forty Two. Yeah, I fucking remembered it, and I was like, "Well, fuck it, man. Might as well like, well, how am I going to get subscribers?" So, well, uh, I think what started it was there was 101 subscribers, and I just noticed it because uh, a few hours ago I was at 98. So that's 99, 100, 101, 102. So we just had four freaking subscribers pop up. So I was like, well, might as well, like, uh, you know, capitalize on the momentum. Hopefully we get some of those new subs on the channel. And so far I've had like four or five people watching like most of the night. We're at three right now. And I appreciate y'all watching, you know. The show wouldn't be you, but the show without you guys. Mm. About the fans. Well, the, the fans, fans out man. there would be nothing. The legions of fans, man. You know, yes, we sold out every seat in the house. We're all, all right. selling cool. out around here. All right, we can we can keep watching the right. stupid. The best of Mo now. home video release date reveal trailer coming soon to Mo Side Gaming YouTube gaming channel. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. I mean that that might be, but I don't know. I'll have to review this heavily. And you know, love, qu question why my anus is always hurting every morning when I wake up. I would love to put together like a a best of worst of Mo Diggity. <laughs> Like all your fuck ups on stream, all the old archive clips of you saying no no words. <laughs> no, I, I, okay. of, I I've never said out of like the storm crow whatever game. Oh man, <laughs> no diggity, don't you dare claim you've people. never said a no no word. Well, you do you certainly? Do, do, uh, 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 I've never said a no no word because uh, 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 do you have any? Oh, no, 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 shut up, shut up. Do you have any proof? That I not, fucking never said. So all of you proudly. out there, I am I am uncancelable. You can't do shit to me. All these allegations no, no, no. are unfounded because I'm saying no if fruit. Paul goes through your old shit, I guarantee you he will find something. I guarantee you. I swear to you. I am like Johnny on the spot with that shit. If I fuck up and say something naughty, the shit gets oh, yeah. delisted and then re-edited. No, I am not fucking around with that. Like if I ever pop off one year. And I fucking like go up and like I start blowing up. I was like, this guy said the F slur one time in a Call of Duty match. And that should be fucking par for the course uh, for fucking everybody. Everyone's It'll allowed. Be like Hogan's racist tirade. Yeah, video. Like, yeah, like everyone was like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I just can't stand the blacks, brother. You know, and all that. But he didn't say blacks. <laughs> uh, you know, but he, he didn't say blacks. He, uh, he didn't say that at all. He said something much, much worse. Don't quite hey, care hey. for the African American community, brother. <laughs> Hulk Hogan doesn't care about black people. <laughs> no, like, but get it's like this. when he was subpoenaed, and he had to delineate between you know Terry Bollea, the the man, and Hulk Hogan, the character. He's like, no, Hulk Hogan has a thirteen inch penis. <laughs> Like, yes, brother. Of course, Hulk Hogan has a 13 inch penis. Yeah, Hulk Hogan's a racist. I'm not. I'm just like, chill. No. I'm Terry. <laughs> My name's Terry. I don't know. Like, this Hulk Hogan guy, like, I don't know. He's been sort of a, a bad influence on my life. Never really, never really agreed with him. I disavow and repudiate and renunciate uh, everything that he has ever said. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Hulk Hogan Damn is it. A racist, not Terry Bolica. I let a black girl suck Hulk Hogan's 13 inch penis, brother. Oh, yeah. Like, dude, I'm such a non racist. I let Brooke fuck any black dude she wants. She just brings like four or five of them at the fucking at the house. She was like, brother, 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 brother. She's just like, oh. And she takes after her old man. 
Oh I'm not God. going to deny it, brother. I refuse to elaborate <laughs> any further. Just let the, the mystery of the universe uh, unfold how it may. What did he mean by that? I don't know. I, who knows? Who knows? It's a mystery to the universe, and we'll never find Riley. out. Riley, can you appreciate the irony that Mo just said that like he never pops off and says anything questionable on stream and then immediately goes into a whole code <laughs> okay first off that's not mo that's not mo side gaming and mo side gaming doesn't that was represent Terry. Yeah. The, no, yeah no 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 mo side gaming isn't affiliated <laughs> with hulk hogan or terry but whatever you know the last name is i forgot uh you know like we're not affiliated with those those were hulk's words not mine yeah. All right, I'm just chilling. I just want to ju- I, I just want to shit on Jordan Pearson and play Modern Warfare. That's that's all I want. <laughs> I don't want shit to do with this. I am I am anti-racist. You know, if I had a girlfriend, I'd let anyone. You know, I, I I would I would let any man or even any woman have sex with my you know with my girlfriend because I believe in cuckoldry. Blah blah blah. Diversity is our strength. Blah blah blah, and other liberal platitudes. Is that's your bullshit thing here. <laughs> you appeal to the liberals by calling yourself a god. <laughs> well, yeah, like, that's what they want, right? They want weak males, you know, to dominate America, which in and of itself is really oxymoronic because cuckold, dominate, come on, pick one. You know, that's, that's all I'm saying, because how are you going to dominate and be a bitch? Oh, well. Enough talk. It's Kung Fu fighting time. Enough Aww. talk. It's time for seven more minutes of Call of Duty shit. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, we're just going to watch the rest of this little clip right there. Okay, DMZ. Okay, you know, we're going to watch this in the DMZ part right here. I don't really give a shit about the new weapons update or combat record and other bullshit. All right. Okay, so everything from now until like five minutes in. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, about 542. Okay. All right, playing it now in three, two, one. First, all the way through the new year on January 4th. They also add in this little sub note here. Those on the naughty list won't have to fret over any mythological creatures during this holiday season. So no, Krampus is not going to be Thank returning God, this year. Thank Krampus goodness, sucks you don't have to so worry much about him uh, in multiplayer or in Warzone this time around. So no, uh, you know, problems being created there. As we get into the Warzone 2 overview here, just want to remind you guys that if you are new to the channel, Every single day, I got you covered with the latest news, updates, class setups, tips, everything you need to know about MW2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. Right, three, two, so three, two, one, pause. Your- okay, three, two, one, pause. Okay, fuck this guy. No, it's not. You stay here on this channel. Like, uh, we'll keep you update daily. Wink. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, the Mo Show daily. will keep you. Mo Show is a constantly airing show. It's never gone off the air for extended periods of time. We'll continue to keep you updated on all the, oh, all yes. the news. And but the that's the good thing. But that's the good thing because season one Mo Show, that shit kind of fell off suddenly. I, I just uh, I had shit in my eye that one time. I was feeling very subconscious about it. And I kind of forgot to come back to it. But now this is season two, episode one of the second season of the Mo Show. So I've decided that at least once a week, we'll have a once a week, uh, every every Saturday at nine o'clock, we'll have an episode of the Mo Show. So I that's definitely- a, That's such a bad time slot. I'll never be able to make time. the first- well, no, I'll no, never no, be no. able to make the first like hour and a half. It'll okay. be never, this even is once. Just, this is just the dedicated once at least once a week i am uh planning on making like multiple mo shows a a, a week at least like maybe one or two more and we'll definitely figure out a time that's good for you and good for everyone where everyone can just show up and have fun and all that stuff just do a sunday afternoon sunday afternoon you were originally gonna do it yeah i always i guess like i gotta set alarms for my days off now because like the rule has always been on my days off no alarms so i could just sleep and then whenever i wake up and i wake up but i have been sleeping like my three-day weekend fucking (coughs) pardon me fucking uh all three days I slept till three o'clock and then like slept most of my fucking day away. So I should probably not do that anymore. And like at least wake up at about 10 30, 11 o'clock every day. 
Do you want make cleaned room permits learning update? God, that's really hard to read. <laughs> now get any chance, mistake is, is not the end. Most side gaming delivers so new is known immediate. Uh, ow, that hurts. Fucking reading, God. Her is now immediate. So do. Anyway. All right. Playing the video now in... Th God damn it. Sleep is for baby. Don't give up. Keep fond memory going. Mo Diggly showing up on no, time Diggly. in your face with discounts. Yes, lots and lots of discounts. For example, did you know that you can go to w.gg and use promo code Mo Diggly to save 10% off your total purchase uh, when you go to, uh, go to checkout? Shut the, <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut this this fucking table. I would slam this table while I'm shouting at you, but it's kind of kind of fucking uh, uh, not as sturdy as I would like. So, God damn it, you feel my anger and you just imagine my fucking hand smashing upon your fucking face. Every What's time the you thing you're actually sponsored by? No, W.GG. W. Yeah, okay. yeah, no yeah. longer Fade Grips. We are no longer associated, affiliated <laughs> with Fade Grips. Fade Grips said some stuff about God's chosen people that I am not allowed to go into nor even repeat. Wait, did Fade Grips talk about Jewish Oh my God, you fucking, mo you fucking oh, moment what? killer. No, you moment killer. That was a bit. God damn oh, okay. it. Okay. I thought you were serious. I thought that Fade Grips made a statement about Do you think Jewish that I have people? like a close personal relationship with Fade Grips? No, I, I figured I, you might. I figured you might be following them on Twitter, and maybe they said like, "Yeah, Kanye West, let's go." Fuck no, I'm not. Sh I'm not following them on fucking Twitter. I'm constantly banned off the fucking thing. That's true. You do get banned from Twitter quite often. Oh my god, I got something I need to talk about before I fucking shit on Jordan Peterson. All right, let, let's start this fucking shit. All right, you, you got like two seconds to impress me guy who, who am i watching who are you again who's, who's immortal? immortal okay i'm sub to you so you i must like you at some point all right playing video in three two one is watching who haven't already subscribed or if this is your first time watching feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notice so you can always stay up to date we're less than 3,000 subscribers away from 900k it'd be awesome to hit that by the time season one reloaded is here and if you guys enjoy this video let me know by dropping a like on it as well would be really appreciated let's try and aim for 2500 likes on this one but getting into the warzone 2 overview we have building 21 a brand new area for warzone and dmz it seems like but it's redacted also we have the warzone cup aka cod ball and mini royale dropping as well so new area in dmz so maybe Cod it is ball. just dmz specific building 21 which is like some kind of secret lab or it's something based on the looks here you got uh, trees three, growing inside two, you got one, something pause. fancy going up here all right three two one pause here uh apparently the oddball thing is supposed to be sort of like a cod's version of a uh, rocket lead okay yeah like apparently you just tear ass all on fucking little uh uh atvs and shit and you're just uh I, I don't know really what it is. We're supposed to be getting the thing next week. So I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to that because that's going to be a whole lot of fun. Okay, I, I really need to stop commenting on this video because I keep assuming we're just going to banter over the video and then it leads to like a six minute pause. <laughs> so I just need to keep my mouth shut so we can get through this. Well, yeah, but there's actual like important info so far in this. Uh, so I didn't want to uh, 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 talk over it too much. So fair, my apologies. Fair. More Twitter dream times with Mo Diggity is goal. Fun feed is there on the or where joyfully finding link on profile. Ow. Approve not necessary for under the age of the video show. Okay, I don't like how that uh, last comment was worded. So under let's just the age of the video show. Yeah, let's just I, pretend I mean... that under the age of is just not in that sentence. And just like link to all my stuff is down below. I just, just you know. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like Danny DeVito in that one episode of It's Always Sunny where they have to do the, the fucking children's pageant. And he shows up as like, uh, I, I don't like girls. I, I, I like grown women. I definitely am not a pedophile. Da, 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 da. That like whole fucking awkward fucking exchange to that episode is so fucking funny. Anyway, sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm goofing. I'm banting. I'm being fucking stupid. Don't mind me. All right. Don't like kids. Gotta be big. 
All right. Okay, playing the video now. Three, two, one. Here with all the blue special lighting and stuff. So, new keys have appeared in Almazra, but where do they lead? Its location is classified, its benefactors are unknown, but one thing is for certain about the clandestine biological laboratory, codenamed Building 21. Only the strongest operators may survive, let alone access one of the deadliest areas of DMZ. Players will need redacted face. to access I redacted. This guy. <laughs> With this great risk comes great reward. High tier contraband found throughout the building, especially in safes and special areas that require key card access. So we don't necessarily know much about this building other than the fact that it's going to have very high value loot for DMZ. So it's going to maybe be a place like the radiation zone or something special like that. This may be marked specially or something. We'll have to wait and see what exactly is going on with this, but it seems to play a pretty big role with this new update here. Uh, we also have our LTM playlist. So Codball is in fact debuting finally. And yes, this is basically Rocket League okay. in Call of Duty. Riley, You've got your yeah. ATVs. You're on like an actual soccer field or a pitch. And you're trying to kick the What'd giant ball into the goals here. Oh, you were talking about ATV. the, uh, so it's the a whole custom map just thing. for that. That's going to be available. Yeah, we I also just heard him say Mini Royale ball, as and well. Like, that's 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 Battle Royale fans. <laughs> Season 1 Reloaded also sees the return of Mini Royale, which of course is just a uh, sort of shrunken down zone on all Mazra. Still a little bit less players but the action should be a bit more intense since the zone is smaller off the rip so that should be a nice fun alternative to the slightly slower paced gameplay that's already there on all monster just because the map's a bit bigger and obviously things play a bit differently here in war zone 2 we also have our general overview so two new operators okay pause and done all right okay cool. so I, I i like so far like because I, like i said earlier I, I really am enjoying the all the modes and stuff uh, the, the multiplayer needs a little bit better polish, I feel. But overall, uh, uh, I'm sure that the multiplayer will get a ton of love. Just right now, everyone seems to be more focused on playing Warzone 2 and the DMZ mode. And they're all looking forward to uh, the raid mode, which the raid sounds really, really cool. For those of you who don't know, the raid is essentially you have to play... Uh, uh, Warzone or the Spec Ops stuff, and you have to uh, play it in, in place, and you have to meet certain parameters like bug out with 30k and DMZ, uh, find some bullshit in Warzone and all that, and uh, and all that stuff. The, the, the parameters will be like made clear later on. Uh, next week, I believe it's supposed to be on the 14th. Yeah, the 14th is Wednesday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, everyone's going the the update will officially go live and we'll finally see how to how this all plays out codball looks like it's going to be a lot of fun because i really like uh i really love rocket league like fucking crazy so i think this will be a fun little alternative to that it'll be a fun little addition to uh, uh to a uh, cod it'll, it'll really break the uh, the monotony of just shooty 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 and objective 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 now we're actually having something that's like way out of left field so to speak for a cod game uh Can thoughts anybody not me well it is a little bit play it, a better video game bitch this is a fucking <laughs> better video game it's really fucking good it's a lot of fun some spots and some things in there make me feel like this isn't worth 70 bucks but you know seeing all the shit that we get get with it like i i guess like they're going a little bit more quantity uh over quality a little bit like maybe like 60 quantity 40 quality and it's, it's still not good good but in a lot of the spots where uh with the, the game modes that really shine i i think that that's uh you, you start to see like okay I guess I could spend 70 bucks on you. There is there's is not a game in the Call of Duty franchise that is worth the full price of admission, especially now that that full price is $70 instead of 60. I was about uh, to say you ain't got to worry about paying 70 bucks for a COD game. You're about to start paying 70 bucks for fucking all of them, AAA at least. Yeah, it's Which fucking it's, sucks. That's rough. That's big rough. Yeah, but not I mean, not worth it. We haven't had a game that's worth 70 bucks in like a while. Well, Elden, Elden Ring. Elden, Elden Ring. Ring is worth seventy bucks, and like literally any video game the first party Nintendo puts out, which I don't know if they're boosted to seventy yet. 
Uh, I think it's. I don't think I've ever spent more. No. I think it's only ever been like 40, 50 bucks for all the Nintendo games, even when they were new. They're fairly like. No, uh, well, I mean, new Nintendo the... games are always 60, but I'm saying are I don't they? think they've gone up to 70 yet. Oh, okay, Switch okay. stuff's still 60, I think. It is? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I did, but, get, uh, I did just get into the Switch, though, in 2020, so. I would buy Call of Duty for like $20 to do multiplayer, but like. I would never part with $70 for fucking Call of Duty for the same game every year since 2010. Just that That's probably not the year. But okay, first off. Every year for a long time. First off. Like the, uh, okay, go ahead. It's the, FIFA, it's the FIFA or the MLB or the Madden. Of it's not people. quite as egregious as those games. Those games are a fucking scam and the people who make them should be <laughs> burned at the stake yeah. modern sports games are fucking awful a complete scam how do people keep buying these games andrew why do you keep buying these games why do you keep letting them scam you i'm trying to save you andrew yeah. stop buying fifa yeah because there there's literally no reason to keep doing yearly uh, sports game uh, releases that you can literally just fucking update the shit uh like w w you can get a, a maybe like like a hundred megabyte fucking uh update every fucking year to update the roster and shit. Uh but like there's absolutely no reason to buy like FIFA 06, 07, 08, 2021, 22, 23. It's just there's it's one, it's fucking nuts, man. There's one game review website, I don't remember which one it is, but I remember it being really based because whenever the new like FIFA or Madden games drop, they just like copy and paste their review that they wrote back in like 2016 and like lower the score by a couple points <laughs> oh my god really they've done that yeah did do you actually have an example i would love to see no that. i don't i don't have anything I think, except for circumstantial having heard about this but i i it's one of the review websites i don't know it might be ign but i doubt ign's that base so maybe it's not uh but there's definitely a reviewer website that just like it might be one of them specifically, like maybe it's just Madden or just FIFA, but I definitely know there is a reviewer website that did this, and it's the funniest shit in the world. Dude, that's fucking hysterical. Hey, are your parents still interested in your sweaty hands? Get your grip on with Fabe Germs. <laughs> Fabe Germs? <laughs> All the shit that fucking that, that Paul posts in my chat. At least I know that my chat box thing is working live on stream, so thank you for yeah. that. I appreciate that. Uh, Yes, uh, let's no, see. Also, you started reading, reading Paul's chat apropos of nothing there, and I thought you were asking me about my parents for a minute. I'm like, what is he going to ask me about my parents? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, because that's, what, that's weird. What question does Mo Diggity have about my <laughs> Mo Side Gaming. <laughs> Mo Side Gaming is home of video game streaming men and the Mo Side Productions family of program. That makes my brain fucking hurt, man. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> Video game development, new info, technologies, show on television. Most side <laughs> show on television, most got side game. Awesome in the car, baby. Video game development, new info, technology, show on television, most side gaming, subscription, you got in the sauce in a jar, baby. All channel you seem to want watch every day update links, but they don't make the needful uploads. Mo Diggly is not a waste of fellow. Have we uh, have we discussed the game awards yet on the stream? Uh, we did a little bit, but if you would like to elaborate further, that's cool. Go right There's ahead. There's only one thing I wanted to talk about. Did you talk about the uh, the the player's choice or whatever reward that uh, Genshin player... Impact won? I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Elden Ring got game of the year, and that's all I give a fuck about. So there was some like weird player's choice. I don't know what it was, or like players voice or some some stupid shit that has to do with players um and genshin impact was on the board and sonic frontiers was on the board and there were like two other things but it didn't matter it was mainly a race between genshin impact and sonic frontiers um and genshin impact solicited its players with in-game rewards and won the award and nobody seems and nobody who runs the game award seems to care that that happens. I guess that's just common practice, and that feels scummy as fuck. 
Um, and I feel like Genshin Impact does not deserve this reward at all. Oh, no. Gen Genshin Impact is literally the East's uh, uh, way to try to fucking scam stupid fucking Americans out of their fucking money. That's what it looks, it looks fun to fuck is. around with if you, if you don't spend money on it, but then people actually spend money on it. It's like, what are you doing? That's well, stupid. Yeah, a, a lot of my friends in this community and other communities really like... Uh, uh, pardon me, pardon me. They really, really love the fuck out of Genshin Impact. And they fucking swear by it. They uh they try to get me to play the game all the time with them, but like I, I'm I'm constantly playing other fucking shit or I'm editing and it's just man, I, I feel like I do too much to play any MMO anymore. Like the Robin and I we we played the new the Final Fantasy fourteen MMO for like hours and I loved every fucking second of it. And I, because I've either just forgotten, plain forgotten, or just uh, wanted to do other stuff, uh, or just didn't have the fucking time. I just never got to fucking play that. And I need to play, I really want to play uh, Wrath of the Lich King by World of Warcraft. It is Christmas time, so I should probably resub at least a little bit to, to get do the holiday stuff, because the holiday updates in, in WoW are always like so much fun because you get to you get their uh, version of uh saint nicholas slash father christmas which you know quick poll which one do you think sounds cooler santa claus or father christmas father christmas anyone else santa claus he has claws <laughs> santa Let's claus go. Man, all right. So I, I, I think, I think, uh, I think we should at least like incorporate just saying "Fall the Christmas," even though it's a, it's a British thing, but only every once in a while. We don't want to overdo it, because I still like Santa Claus and all that. But I, I do like "Fall the Christmas." I, I've always loved it the you, first time. The first time I ever you heard. held an informal poll just so that you could say what you wanted it to be. But I also, well, yes. But I also. Like, hey guys, what do you think about this? Okay, well we're gonna call him Father Christmas every now and then anyway. But we're just gonna call him Santa Claus most of the time because I don't want to overdo it. I don't know. I, I think because I watched Hot Fuzz, that was the first time I've ever heard Santa Claus being referred to as Father Christmas, and I, I just I, I love the 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 sound of that. I I, I just liked it anyway. I just want to say you, we were kind of talking about like video games for a minute. Yeah, just... we were, we were. But this is uh... the this is the Mo show where <laughs> I can fucking rant, show. where I can rant and rave whenever you, whenever I want. You, you, you can rant and rave whenever you want. That's fine. I was gonna say something about video games. So I was. Just... Yeah, but, but go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have a I have a fucking disease and I can't shake it. I cannot sit down and play new video games. I can't. Well, Big Harvey can get you down to under to. Oh, okay. And I, I can't, I, I just can't sit down and play new video games. I buy a video game that I'm playing for the first time. I just won't fucking play it unless it's Pokemon. I have fucking <laughs> Pokemon brain rot. I can't play anything else. I bought Skyrim earlier this week. I've played it for about an hour and 10 minutes. Um, I, <laughs> I play played it for it an longer. hour. Play I played it, it for an hour. I played it for the hour, an hour of the night I bought it, and then I had a podcast to do. And then today I played it for like ten minutes, and I was like, I'm bored. And I turned Even, it off. Yeah, it, With it, it's Pokemon a big game, game right? You you got to realize that the newer games are just less playable and less good. That's not true. Uh, the, specifically, Sword and Shield were bad, um, but all the other newer games are good. Scarlet and Violet are great. Like whatever. There's some fucking performance issues. What the fuck ever. It's one of the most fun Pokemon games in years. I love it a lot. I don't give a shit if the frames per second drop a little bit sometimes. I'm there to play with the funny monsters, and it's got a lot of great funny monster content. You know, a lot of people kind of put Pokemon in the same category as the sports ball games that are released yearly. What are your What are your thoughts on that, Riley? Those people should die. <laughs> die? You literally want them to die. <laughs> the, no, 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 no. They should die. They should just... I hope that they stub their toes. <laughs> that's that's what I'll say Ooh. about them. 
I and hope they, that one day they just really ran their toe into something unintentionally. Kind of got to agree with them. They haven't like revamped the battle system at all since fourth gen, and they're like on what ninth gen right now. If it ain't broke, it don't ain't need broke. to fix it. They spent the first four gens ironing down. Um, they didn't need to update it they, after that because they, they were no done fix, making. Why are they adding a new gimmick every game and then getting rid of it? The new the new gimmicks are silly, but they're tolerable. Like it doesn't it doesn't really affect my enjoyment. Um, terrestrializing is genuinely interesting to me uh, from a competitive aspect because um, it allows you to change your type on a dime, and that's really interesting. Um, but the gimmicks, I think most I've liked all of them. Like thinking back, like I think the concept of just like doing a new one every game and then getting rid of it is annoying. But like, I've never disliked a single one. The Mega Evolutions were fucking sick. Um, I and I think everybody agrees on that at the very yeah. least. Um, I really like Z moves. Um, because I was playing competitive in Gen Seven and I liked having Z moves as like part of the plan. Like I like I liked having my Z nuke and doing fun things with it. Um, Dynamaxing was really cool. Um, it felt a bit more balanced than. Uh, Mega Evolutions and Z moves were back in Gen 7, especially when both were running rampant, which is a beautiful metagame that I loved, but obviously the the metagame was very skewed around Mega Evolutions and Z moves. Um, Dynamax was not as major, I think. Um, and it was it was fun, it was harmless. And again, terastalizing, very interesting because of the type changes. I'm I'm interested to see the all the crazy and unique ways that goes in competitive. I'm glad somebody is just eating very loudly into their microphone right now. It's <laughs> prop yeah, we, we need that Doritos uh, noise suppression fucking technology for the group here. Yeah, we we do need the Dorito noise suppression, but uh, but yeah, I, I've liked all the Pokemon gimmicks so far. I wish they'd kind of just like pick one and stick with it or get rid of them entirely because it is annoying that they have to like invent a new one every gen and I'm sure eventually they're going to get just bad because they're just going to run out of new shit to do. Um, so yeah, it's not, that's not necessarily a good thing. It's just that people have just like dismissed Game Freak outright, um, because of like their showing on the Switch. Um, and I would argue that most of it is pretty good. Uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are really great in their own way. Uh, I love them a lot just because they're a little bit too easy does not mean they can't be an enjoyable experience. Uh, they're very charming. Um, they bring out a child like whimsy in me. <laughs> um, I, I, I appreciate them in a, in a very deep and genuine emotional way. Um, so let's go Pikachu and Eevee get the pass. I uh, could talk about this for hours and I'm sure Mo wouldn't like that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. The, we're we're going to have to wrap up on the Pokemon talk here. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm just running it down real quick. Give me, give me, okay, give me no, the floor no for problem, a No problem, minutes. no problem. Th um, thank you. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> um, I'm just going through the Switch games real quick and giving it a quick and dirty. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, Sword and Shield were bad. Um, their single player, their single player campaign is completely fucking devoid of life. Um, the Pokemon are fine. Uh, Dynamaxing is fine. The region is largely un unmemorable, um, except for a few key moments um, and a few key locations. Um, overall, just not a great game. Uh, does not get the pass. Is bad in my opinion, especially the DLC where they level scale it to where you are in the game, but they don't evolution scale it. So you're fighting fucking level 70 baby tigers. It's, it's fucking unexcusable. Um, and then there's, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, there's brilliant diamond shining pearl, which are only bad because there exists a better alternative. Uh, they're not as good as platinum is. Um, but that being said, um, before Scarlet and Violet, they were the best traditional Pokemon RPGs on the Switch because they're just Diamond and Pearl, but a little bit better, which it's is a, better than Sword and Shield. <laughs> Sword and Shield were better. Sword and, and Shield were not those. better. <laughs> Brilliant Diamond and Shine. They're just Diamond and Pearl again, but like a couple of improvements are made. And that, that doesn't approach Platinum because Platinum made amazing improvements. But in, in terms of switch options, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl was the best you were doing for like traditional Pokemon. Sword and Shield are bad. Um, and then Legends Arceus was amazing. It was just, it, it was a breath of fresh air in every possible way. Um, it was really cool. It was really interesting lore wise. Um, the catching mechanics and everything was just, it was so much fun. A real breath of fresh air. Legends Arceus, very good. And then 
Scarlet and Violet, which everybody hates because, oh, no, the frames per second go down sometimes. Uh, but in reality, it's a fucking amazing Pokemon game. Um, there's there's a boss for each type. There's the like eight, eight, eight. fuck you. I'm <laughs> sick. There's a, there's a boss for each Get type uh, before even like the Elite Four and Champion. There's like a badge for each type. There's the gym leaders, the Titan Pokemon, and the star bases. Um, it's a really fun gameplay loop. Um, it's the most fun Pokemon's been. In a long time, I rank I rank Gen Nine like right in the middle of my generation rankings, like right between the top four and the bottom four. It's 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 very good. I, I, I like love how they could make an open world that doesn't scale at all for your levels. Great. It's listen that part is stupid, but it's like you could just ignore it. I had I I played the game with a guide. Do not regret it even a little bit. It, it tells me the, what the next boss is. And what level they are, and it all goes in level order, and I played the whole game that way, and it's like, oh, if I do it like this, it's just a normal Pokemon game, and it's good. <laughs> so, that's that. That's my thing. Um, but yeah, I, I like Scarlet and Violet a lot, and I think, I think Pokemon Switch Libraries only had the one big stinker, which was Sword and Shield, and other than that, it's been very good. And I will get off my Pokemon soapbox now, so Mo does not off himself live on stream. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, so I want to go ahead and just get this done and over with here because it's like got the most content. Then I'm going to uh, rant about some Diablo. Uh, we're going to check out some Diablo 4 news, and we'll go ahead and wrap it up on the uh, Season 2, Episode 1 of the new season of The Mo Show. Yes, if you uh, will go ahead and uh, show you the dedicated YouTube channel for the season one stuff. And uh, we'll just go ahead and leave it there. We'll figure out what to do with them officially in some capacity. But that will be the first one. Or that will be the first season. And then everything from, uh, from here on out will be episodes of the season dose. Until we get tired of it, take like a week or two off and come back with a season three or something. Maybe we'll a... rebrand oh or something. New channel every season. If Mo Diggity no. ever takes a week off from the Mo show, it has to become a new season. Like if he ever just like <laughs> oh, is no. too lazy oh, to do it no, for one no, week, it's just like, oh, season three I, now. I, okay, Let's I go. Just, okay, I was just, I was just fucking like throwing that out there. Like it isn't. It's not really going to be a week. Like I'm not going to like fuck off, hold my dick for like a month and a half and not fucking do anything with the mo show i'm certainly you know it's 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 going to have to be a while in between new seasons you know it's it's like how uh drumsy uh fucking does it have any of y'all ever watched drumsy's videos before no oh shit he's uh he's one of my favorite old school black uh black ops 2 and vr chat uh streamers slash youtubers uh he's fucking amazing like y'all go check out drumsy he's fucking great uh go sub to his channel can't speak in, uh, highly enough about him anyway so how is uh how's the mo show like not the mo cast are they just like the same oh, show no 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 the difference between the mo cast and the mo show is like i do this show whenever i fucking feel like but it's it's mainly just like you know like it's, it's that kind of freedom you know but like i, I do want to get dedicated to it I have my own little personal side project and it, it doesn't have any dedicated uh uh any dedicated uh fucking uh co-host sorry you know it's it's always me and open lines like i want to do open lines and maybe like a guest appearance or two uh also. on the show but it's it, it's not like really uh, the 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 mo cast is just my weekly podcast, and it's never a stream. That's there's between that one and this one. This one is always going to be a stream. That one's always going to be like mostly an audio and like video graphics only type of deal. You ex you explained like every reason except for the primary reason that they're different. Like you explained primary, every secondary reason the, that they're different. What's the primary the one? The primary reason is that the Mo Show is a structured show where you like talk about like news and topics and shit. While the MoCast is a freeform podcast with me, you, and Robin, where we just kind of talk about whatever we feel like once a week. Um, so it's it's a very different it's a very different vibe. We're not like we're not coming in prepared with Call of Duty news videos like they are in the Mo Show. Um, we just we just sit down and talk. 
uh, once a week, and it's a good show, and you should go listen to it, and also listen to this show, because they're different, but they're both good, and there you go. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. That that actually is, I guess, the big primary difference, I guess. I, I, I guess I love my secondary reasons a little bit more than I do my primary, or maybe I'm just focused, fixated on, on them. But anyway, uh, let's see. So, uh, a little news topic. So, Jordan Peterson uh, got his little fanny flustered because Uh-oh. someone called him, like, here, you know what? I'm just going to go look for it real quick. Jordan. I had the tweet earlier. I think I ex- uh, exited uh, out of it accidentally. But, like, yeah, he's just popping off saying fucking stupid shit. Uh, because, you know, all, you know, all he's got to do is just blurt out his stupid pseudo intellectual fucking nonsense, right? Like, well, poor Jordan the- Peterson, like, I, I will real quick, because it's not, I don't mean to shit on him so hard. Like, there's, there's times where I really, really enjoyed his stuff, but like now it's bleh. But yeah, what were you going to well, say? Well, this this latest no, I was just going to say that this latest like meltdown of his is because he has been uh he's on the Daily Wire or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So he's he's working for Ben Shapiro. <clears throat> and he did a uh an interview, I guess, with uh Netanyahu and um that of course turned all the really <laughs> Good people on both sides <laughs> on uh, 4chan. Oh yeah, like basically, <laughs> poll lost its fucking shit, and like what happened was like they, the shit got raided, and he got all fucking fanny flustered. He was uh, about it. Well, somebody yeah, somebody figured out that like oh shit, guys, look like, Jordan, yeah, they like they were calling him Juden Peterstein, <laughs> like <laughs> Juden <laughs> Peterstein. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Somebody, before uh, fucking e- before Elon took over, there was this hashtag called the noticing, and it was like <laughs> it's it's super super anti-Semitic. It's like your typical fucking like 4chan fucking uh 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 4chan hashtag because like what happened was fucking Twitter got gay opt right and fucking 4chan because occasionally you know there will be a brainiac in the fucking group of fucking morons and chuckle fucks that is fucking 4chan, right? One of them occasionally will come up with a brilliant idea, but they'll say it in such a way that the fucking troglodyte fucking scum uh, will fucking understand it. And they all go, Oonga, Boonga, Trog Mad, And they just fucking bludgeon the shit out of some fucking poor YouTube bastard. And that poor YouTube bastard was uh, fucking Jordan Peterson, <laughs> also known by other names. You know, apparently. So, what? <laughs> Jordan <Judas> Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, like, because, like, Netanyahu is, like, one of the big, like, when you talk about, like, piece of shit world leaders, like, you know, the the fucking Trumps, the Bushes, the fucking Obamas, you know, uh, the, the, the fucking uh, uh, Margaret Thatchers, the fucking Vladimir Putins, the Pootie Poos. Margaret uh, Thatcher, oh, God. That dude. <laughs> oh, Breaking fuck. news. Controversial streamer Mo Diggity comparison. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 fucking Netanyahu is a piece of shit. Like, seriously, be Palestinian in fucking Israel. Okay, I dare anyone to be Palestinian for a week in Israel, okay? Or near the fucking border. Like, How either one of Palestinian? them. Huh? How am I going to be Palestinian? I can't just, like, become well, one. Well, no. Okay, like, you're reading too no, much. Well, you have to <laughs> yeah. analogy. Yeah. Like, you will feel Netanyahu's fucking uh, foreign policy firsthand. That's that's what I'm saying. I just yeah. want to, real, real quick, if I could do a quick aside, because you sure. mentioned Margaret, real quick. Margaret Thatcher. But real, real quick. quick. I just, it is real quick. But you got to do it real quick. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Real quick. <laughs> so, All right, go ahead. Uh, I, last year, I briefly fell into, like, a fake 
uh, like please, TV please blogs. don't admit right now that you went through a Nazi phase. All right, no, like, I no, don't no, hear, that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about the Mar- bullshit. Okay, this is right, about right. Margaret Thatcher. Okay, oh, okay, so I... okay, okay. Usually, <laughs> we just we did just get done talking about Twitter and fucking Four Chan in the same sentence. So, okay, know. but uh, no, I, I went down this like rabbit hole of like a TV alert system, like fake horror stories. Like the the emergency broadcast system, like on TV, um, and like fake little like horror stories people make of like a like awful like disaster being reported through those like emergency broadcast systems. Um, and there's one where like Margaret Thatcher dies in a bombing in the 1990s in this like fake emergency broadcast system alert, and all the comments are like, "This isn't scary at all. I wish this happens." <laughs> <laughs> oh dude yeah there, there's some there's some really good ones because uh like uh when i'm at work and i'm just fucking about not having anything to do i'll like go on tiktok just watch some fucking videos right and there are a ton of this is where reddit this is one of those rare times i'm actually gonna have something really good to say about the site this is where that shines because they'll have like these uh little pockets of really creative writers who will uh, spin a fabulous yawn, as it said, and uh, they'll do a really good job with like the creepy, creepy pasta or like the sci-fi pasta. Uh, the uh, some of the videos they'll they'll just be the the robo voice for all of those videos and stuff. It'll be that reading the text, and after like a minute, like you're actually like super engrossed in the story, and I really enjoy those. Like one of my favorite boards on 4chan's the X board because they always have some like primo content and that's all that'll always be like the place where scp uh fucking shit's always posted so you get to see all of your uh your favorite monsters and favorite numbers and shit discussed and it's a the scp project is a really really fucking cool thing for those of you who don't know google that shit it's really nice uh one of the one of the scariest one of those videos i've ever seen not necessarily scary but it's like Something that's unsettling that will always sk- stick with me that I saw from one of those videos is it's one, it was one about like an about like aliens destroying the planet and it was done in the style of like early two thousands BBC, and there's like this like AI voice that's like a British man, and at the end of the video when they're like oh shit the aliens are gonna probably gonna like blow up the planet we're all gonna die, they they this like weird sounding British man starts giving instructions on how to most efficiently commit suicide. If you want to kill yourself before the aliens blow up the planet. And that really, that will always stick with me. Just like the British man being like, take the blade and put it on your neck and kill yourself. Dude, you figure they tell him to fucking headbutt like a fucking barrel of a gun or something, man. Or I, I, I don't no, know. No, it, he said like, if you have a gun, put it to the temple of your head and pull the trigger. If you're using a blade, slice the blade on your neck. It was like it was so fucked up. <laughs> Fuck that, I'm not killing myself. This is a a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to die this way. Being blown up on the planet? Like, dude, I've got to have that. I've got to do that. Like, that's... Like, what a way to go. Like, what what a a fucking unique way. And you can only do it once, because you can only blow up the same planet once, right? Yeah. You can do it once, but billions of other people are going to do the same thing as you. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. I accept that. It, it'll just be. It's just for me though. Like I'm not dying with like other people. I think it somehow makes it more unsettling too that immediately after the suicide instructions, they just start playing "God Save the Queen." Oh, that's fucking <laughs> nice. That's fucking nice. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's let's go ahead and go back to the the subject. Yeah. So. uh yeah, poor old Jordan Peterson. I was trying to find that fucking tweet, but there's like a million other tweets that are fucking talking about him, fucking yelling at him. I'm even on his shit right here, and I'm trying to fucking find it. But whatever. I guess I'll find it. But he's uh, he's really fucking lost his shit since that very first tweet when he was arguing about like no many, uh, too many people uh, have a... Uh, uh, 
are, are too anonymous. They have anonymity. He does not like that. And he fails to, I mean, to grasp or the anonymity. Yeah, like he, he fails to, to realize that anonymity is like the best thing we possibly have. We don't have a whole hell of a lot, but like try being a whistleblower in today's age and try never being punished by like the corporation that you whistleblow on or by the government, uh, uh, the, the government fucking department that you whistleblowing on. Like uh, uh, being anonymous is probably like the absolute best uh, thing that you can possibly get. So uh, he's Canadian and unfortunately, like I'm not about to shit on Canadians. Don't worry, Canadian listeners. Sorry. I should say that because I have gone hard on y'all. Uh, you know, like these these last like several months, ever since your uh, idiot prime minister uh, arrested a bunch of truckers and you know froze their fucking bank accounts and shit, and just has the nerve to talk about how like Canada is a free society and you know talk about how there's lots of great things that come out of China. We really need to look to them to figure some stuff out. Like, oh, you piece of fucking commie shit. Ugh. Oh shit. Of course, what do I do? I do this and we go here. All right, and we can just you know, I'm not going to exit out of it because that just means I just did all that work for nothing. Anywho, uh yeah, supposed free speech warrior Jordan Peterson sues university because silly professor said some mean things about him. <laughs> yeah, uh, he has this is in 2018. He has a, a history of uh, doing this before. Like, let's see, there was something. Oh, yeah, the fucking deep fakes, right? Like, do y'all remember the deep fakes? Well, just in case you don't, I got at least a couple of things that'll like jog your memory. If uh, you would like to follow along or just watch the uh, tube or just watch it on stream here, guys, it's all good if you do. But in the, uh, the Mo Show text chat, Here's the video. If you just want to watch along, just let me know if you're going to upload you. So, okay. Okay, everyone got it? Or not got it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Just in case you forgot what Jordan Peterson deep fakery is, there's this. It's like one of the best things <laughs> that ever happened to the yeah, internet. Yeah, the best one. And really, like, Jordan Peterson, I guess, like, because he said, I think, like, one goofy thing or disagreed publicly with, like, well, a lot of members of, like, what were to become the alt-right later on. I'm not, I'm not bagging on the, on, on who the people were back in the skeptic movement, like, because he was a part of the skeptic community. It was probably one of the, uh, it was one of the best times for YouTube, it was internet blood sports and the skeptic community. And sometimes they'd over, they cross over with each other and you'd have this epic fight. But anyway, yeah, that, that's a story for another day. But yeah, he was more or less a part of the skeptic community, sort of like a, an up and coming, uh, rising star in the intellectual community. And he got bagged on a little bit too hard one time and he took it fucking personally. And then he started fucking spurging hard on the internet. And then one day, I guess for the lulls or because they because he pissed someone off on the internet, somebody made a deep fake uh, website where you can deep fake Jordan Peterson saying all this shit. And so now you have what we have here today. This is bad gay porn acting featuring Jordan Peterson. It's probably one of my favorite things on here. All right. Playing the video now in three, two. Wait, did you link it? Yeah, it's in the uh, the text chat in the Mo Show. Okay, Were give me not... a second. Yeah, I said that a second ago. Sorry if you didn't hear it. I, I stepped out to piss, so I probably didn't hear it. Oh, okay, my uh, bad, buddy. Yeah, this this is fucking great. All right. Like this is on. this is the kind of shit that Jordan Peterson because like what's going to happen is okay <laughs> if if you're trans and you think shit's bad right now. Wait till you have your anonymity stripped away from you because of douchebags like Jordan Peterson. Because the, the fucking harassment that those people do deal with on a daily basis just on social media alone will be, you know, 
exponentially it will just skyrocket exponentially uh because now your fucking face and possibly your address or whatever is considered your quote full docs will just be fucking out there for the world to see so terrible idea whistleblowers shit posters and because shit posting is valid and i don't want i'm, I'm so sick of everyone always saying well you just want a shit post yeah i i do yeah, want a shit post That's, i do in fact <laughs> yeah it's perfectly fucking valid if i want to call hillary clinton a horse fucker and say behind a fucking uh uh uh, uh fucking uh, uh job of the hut fucking pick with like a fucking uh crazy college progressive <laughs> live shit makeup on i can fucking do that and i shouldn't have a threat of a fucking lawsuit just because i call someone fucking gay okay you just you Sorry. shit post Get on fucked. twitter and jordan peterson just appears in your room you? and says hello michael <laughs> just like hello michael kills um, you hello michael you haven't cleaned he's, your room he's turning into the uh so this is this is South Park predicting the future. It big with time. The gold big time. Because because Dildo Schwaggins looks exactly like Mo. What who's Dildo Schwaggins? Dildo Schwaggins. Uh, hold on, I'm he's gonna look the, that up. Uh, he's one of the trolls that Gerald Bruflovsky gets involved with. Oh, the, the fucking troll under the... I don't look anything <laughs> like this fucking guy. Now, this is bullshit. Hold on a sec. Hold wow. on a sec. All right, this, this is I'm fucking gonna, bullshit. Gonna... I don't look anything like this fucking bitch. I don't look anything right. like this fucking guy. You are lying. You look pretty close to him. I don't look anything. Dude, my hair, my, my beard is gray. You know, I have a regular hat on. I live in Texas. I got long hair. I ain't got shades on. I mean, not right now. Anyway. You got your hat on, Mo. You got the hat firmly affixed for no yeah. reason in particular. No, I like it. No, no, I, I like the fucking hat because, like, my fucking forehead looks funny. I don't know. Hold on. Let me. <laughs> I want you to pull up. I want you oh, to pull up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. All right. All you have to do right now, Riley, is have... just shut the fuck up, you fucking bitch. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Paul. Go ahead. Are we going to watch no, the first I'm saying, I'm saying oh, put, that, put that guy. Put that guy full screen. All right, I'll try. Actually, don't shit. make Mo ruin his whole stream layout for no, this. No, 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 no. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, this is as full screen. Well, you know what? I guess. Hold on. All right, I think that's as full screen as I can go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't look anything like him whatsoever. I have a fucking mustache. Hold I mean, on, I, let me let me get a look at this. I, I don't. This I fucking yet. don't, man. I don't even where have a you, fucking. Where did you post this? Oh, I, I oh. didn't post it anywhere. But no, I don't fucking anything on, like dude, this I'm asshole. Gonna... Post it in TMS text, Paul. Uh, I'm 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 getting it. I'm getting it right now. Fence is killing me. Dun, 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 oh my dun, god, dun, dun. is that Mo Diggity? I can't believe oh, they drew him in the, the South fuck Park up. style. You're fucking retarded. That's what you are. <laughs> you're a fucking tard. That, that's the one. That's the one because he's even vaping. They're even kind to you in this design. They got rid of your gray hair and replaced it to make it look like you weren't as old. I don't mind my gray. Wait, he's not even fucking vape. Oh, that is a vape. All right, that's the wrong vape. Okay. All right, I don't look <laughs> anything like this guy. Fuck yourselves. <laughs> I am this the night. This is South Park Mo Diggity back from his Young Turks days. Oh God! Shut the fuck up about the <laughs> Young Turks, God. I so like I, I look back at the old days and I'm like, dude, I wouldn't wish I'd never gotten into politics. It's been like a fruitless endeavor, like ever since I started. You look back at the days when you had Chenk's cock deep in your mouth. And oh, you I say, never had his dick in my mouth. Hello, Kathy, who isn't random Gandor. Oh. Uh, God, what do you? What, what's up? Hello, random Candor. Yeah, it's definitely random Candor, not Kathy at all. Definitely. Yeah, random Candor. Fine. 
Uh, and that's a bucket you're talking in. Are you fucking like trying to talk if, if through the, like a fucking Kathy? If you something? want to be on the Mo Show, get your goddamn laptop out. Yes, only uh, on the Mo Show we demand the highest quality in mics, and microphones, and uh, can-do spirit, can-do attitude. Can your attitude? Can the, your attitude? Get the fuck out! I, leave, Kathy. I have no get idea. Out. what said. Oh yeah. By Damn. the way, uh, go ahead. Can door, get it? Can't door. You keep like your mic right. is so bad that it's not even capturing your sentences okay. and your jokes aren't landing. Th th this is this is what we call a brick wall moment, and we're about to hit the brick wall. So I'm swerving to the side, and we're pay playing the bad gay porn acting video. Okay, everyone ready? There we go. You All right, three, two, one. Oh shit! I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for what? <laughs> Our daddy oh taught God. us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially <laughs> since they're such good size and all. Yeah, I see that. Your daddy gave you good advice. <laughs> it gets bigger when I pull on it. Mm. Oh my God. Sometimes I pull on it so hard, I rip the skin. Well, my daddy taught me a few things too, like uh, how not to rip the skin by using someone else's mouth instead of your own hands. Will you show me? I'd be right happy to. <laughs> Dude, that, that bald guy screams. I'd be right happy to. Dude, that bald guy in that fucking thing screams meth I'd dealer. I'd be right happy to. <laughs> yeah, see, right yeah, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll watch. The, this will be the last what? video that we watch. I'll put this here, but I want to end on this because I think it's really fucking cool. It's a it's a claymation Jawa playing uh, fucking eruption by uh, fucking Van Halen. I put it in the t uh, the the mo uh, the mo show text. So oh great, if you more, want to, more well, you, copyrighted but music but on this mo show. It's yeah, the, the, you know, I'm not making any money. I'm not making any ad revenue. Fuck it, it's not a big deal. <laughs> but anyway. I guess I'm used to Twitch rules where you just can't do that. Oh well, yeah. Well, shit. I I have the uh youtube to mp4 thing the the good one uh now so i'll just after this is done after i end the stream i'm going to download the bot immediately but uh, just in case they ever try to fuck with it but i've played bad religion uh on here like you know throughout the stream so and uh i'm, I'm really liking how youtube it hasn't really fucked with me about because everyone plays copyrighted music and no one seems to get fucked with a little bit. Sometimes they get yelled at, but mostly they just don't get fucked with. But anyway, yeah. So like he gets he gets big booty mad over this, oh, over just fucking deep fakery. And so it, the first thing from him, it, this is a, a fucking article he wrote in 2019. I'm just gonna read a little bit of it. I'm not gonna read the whole fucking thing unless it's funny. Uh, Jordan Peterson. The deepfake artist must be stopped before we no longer know what's real. I can tell you from personal experience how disturbing it is to discover a website devoting to make fake audio clips of you for comic or malevolent purposes. Oh, shut the fuck up, man. All right, let's see. Something very strange and disturbing has happened to me recently. If if it were just relevant to me, I wouldn't be it wouldn't be that important, except perhaps to me. And I wouldn't be writing this column, but it's something that is likely more important and more ominous than we can e ever even imagine. Oh, I mean, that's that's I, I get what he's talking about, but it's a little bit too big. I mean, this shit like won't be used too much until like, well, it's it's probably already too late. It, it's kind of like a raptor, you know, a velociraptor out in the wild. By the time you see it and start to notice it, it's already too late. I think deep fakes are probably already uh, upon us because like, have y'all ever seen like, have you seen those uh, presidential addresses where Biden, instead of just being in the white house or something, they try to make it look like he's in the white house, but then they'll just do something real weird and they'll pull the camera back and they'll expose the, the set that he's on. Like, one of the many, many times he got the fucking uh, vaccine, right? Uh, they pulled away and showed that he was on a fucking set far away from the White House. And 
I, I I always thought I always think that's really really weird because like uh nothing that you see on TV or on the media is actually real. So I just figure that this was already like deeply entrenched in entertainment, but like uh maybe it was you know maybe we caught it in time and maybe we're fighting in the good fight against it, but maybe we already it, it's probably already too late i i think and jordan peterson just needs to learn to roll the punches because we're pretty much all suspect like we we can we can probably there there's probably enough technology since the 90s to fabricate like shit that you say to make it sound like you confess something if the government or the cops or somebody really really wanted to get you they fucking could thoughts opinions or have I put no. everyone to sleep? I'm about to sleep. All right. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he he pretty much just uh he went nuts on this fucking dude who was just, you know, having a fucking giggle. And it really wasn't that big of a deal, but like uh this this latest part, and we'll go ahead and start ending it with this. Maybe we'll find another uh uh yeah, the, there's the art of sucking dick by Jordan Peterson. Uh, yeah, Jordan great. Peterson AI sings the South Park theme. Okay, that'll be the last thing we, we watch. Nope, never mind. It's 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 not. Apparently, it's down. Okay, so I guess that was the last thing we watched on Jordan Peterson's bullshit. Yeah, he's just uh he's just constantly flipping out about this, and for someone who you figured would be on the level. Who would who would know better than to advocate for a uh, suppression of free speech after arguing for it for so long? You, you figured he he would stop to see the irony, but he failed to do so, and has since then doubled down on uh, every single one of these incidences. But uh, I guess eventually, in the end, you know, every you know, time makes fools of us all. So hopefully. He sees the errors of his ways eventually, but I don't think for for now we're going to see him come to the light or have a come to Jesus moment, as people said. So anyway, that's that's so pretty much. Oh God, I don't know what this is, but I am not even in the mood to watch any more memes. So anyone got any final thoughts or anything they want to talk about before we end the show? like to inform everyone that apparently god the jesus christ of nazareth himself hates pokemon because earlier in the stream i said that i wish people who said it was like fifa would stub their toe and while i went off to piss i stubbed my toe <laughs> uh, yeah that that's the that's loki the trickster of the gods fucking with you damn all Let's right see. kim you got anything to say Nope. All right. Anyone got anything they'd like to plug before we go ahead and end the shoe? All right. All right, guys. Uh, all the links should be in the description. If they're not, they will be. No, I got my uh my link tree link uh, down below and all that. And I forgot to cover the Diablo Four shit, but we'll do that another time. Or maybe I'll just make a, a separate video or something about it but until then thanks everyone for coming out i really do appreciate it and until next time tata -ta. come back so yeah uh, definitely definitely go check oh yeah go check out my social media stuff go you follow me on the channel here i'm pretty active on my community tab uh that'll give you good updates uh uh tiktok or i'll, I'll put my fucking twitter Though it's a garbage fucking Twitter handle, and I, I don't really, I don't really fucking want it to be my main one. But if you got to go, ch go check me out on all my shit. It's all linked up, and uh, yeah, Discord link is also in the description. Blah blah blah. Until then, see you next time. Come back next Saturday at about nine o'clock, definitely for the one good Mo Show week, maybe two or three if I'm feeling it. All right, later, y'all. Bye bye.